actually, I don't want to order a drink because I can just make, I can just make some, like a cold chocolate drink, you know? There's nothing wrong with a little cold chocolate drink. Oh my God, hold on. Why is my audio so staticky? Is it staticky for you guys too? Is it, is it staticky for everybody or is it just me? I hope, I hope it's just on my end. Don't hear static? Okay, perfect. Maybe it's just, maybe my cable is finally dying. <laughs> maybe my cable is finally dying. Oh, hello friends. How's everyone doing? I am so sorry I made you all wait 14 minutes for me to spawn. But I mean, listen, we're used to me being a disappointment and delaying everything, right? Right? Yes, okay. Ah, hi, hi everybody. I spent the last day doing some, the last day, I spent it yesterday doing some reorganizing a little bit on Twitch. We got, I, I redid our chat. I feel like it needs a background. I feel like we need a background because this doesn't feel clear enough, but this is new. This is new and pretty. And we added, I added a partner plus sub goal thing because normally we'd have the the normal sub goal but I decided to figure out what is required for the partner plus program and for those of you who don't know okay this static is like actually bothering me so I'm gonna have to fiddle with this while I talk but for those that don't know twitch has released something called the partner plus program now once upon a time partners would get like a 70 30 split not anymore because twitch is really greedy and so is amazon and so now we all get the 50 50 split which is ridiculous so if you sub to me for like five bucks i only get 250. i know it's shit. but with this partner program this partner plus program if i hit 350 sub points for three months then instead of instead of the 50 50 i'll get the 70 30 split for a year which is kind of lit it's kind of awesome i really fuck with that but here's the kicker apparently gifted subs don't count and neither do prime subs so it has to be a sub that has come from your wallet and with the september with september happening right now honestly if you have the means for it if, if you already plan on subscribing for an extended period do that extend your sub by three months get that discount pop off you know what i mean this is why i sub six months at a time this is why you're the goat paid subs i know i know imagine being paid to be a sub why is my phone popping off literally i close my eyes for one second i start my stream and now everyone wants to fucking contact me now suddenly everyone is contacting me why let me work <laughs> Let me do my job! Oh, it's literally just Meg simping for me. Okay, we love to see it. <laughs> and Kelsey sending me butt. <laughs> Soren! Soren, thank you for the tier two six months sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, but I texted you my pizza tower. That's so important. Honestly, I saw the picture of it and it looked kind of nasty. It looked like you were like squeezing like a meaty poop but out of like two buns. Nana sir, thank you for continuing the gifted sub from bio. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let me do my, let me do my hellos. Say your, uh, put something, put a, put, uh, put something in chat. Put the word poop in chat and, 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 uh, I'll go through my little, my little hellos. But works as well. That, that also absolutely fucking works. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, let me, I'll, I'll say my hellos after I fucking re, reconnect my, my shtick. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still a little scratchy, but like, that's all right. Shut up streamer, play a game. Can we get a ban on Ray real quick? <laughs> Kelsey, hi, process. Hello, hi, dentist. Ashley, hello. It's nice to see you, Ash. How was work today? Hello, Ed. Chrono Break is nice to see you. Raven of Rivia. Hello, hello. Gamer Jen, hello. Nano, hi. Jotaro, I'm pronouncing that correctly. Butt poop. Well, where else does the poop come from? And Swain Bell, hi. Hinha, hello. Please, I'm begging you. God, I like it when you beg. Maybe I... Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe I should just, like, edge you a little bit here. Alec, hello. K-Buzz, hello. It's nice to see you. And Drew, also, hi. Hello, hello. 
Soren, how are you doing? I know September is almost over. Can you believe it? Simona, hello as well. Ken, thank you for the 15 month resub. Sir, is this Sir Gillies? Hi, and Red, thank you for the one year resub. I can't believe I've known you for a year or you've been a sub for a year. Sylvan, hello, hello. Is the full moon tonight? Is it? I can't see shit. Gatsu, hi, or Guts, my bad. Hi, Guts, hello. It's LunarCon time? Oh yeah, LunarCon is going on. I don't even remember what, what data center and, any, and all that shit that's on. It's, it's NA, right? Also, L, how you doing? How are you, L? Curly Samurai, hello, hello, welcome back. I stopped after knowing you for two months, like 14 months, worst mistake of my life. Well, yeah, you're stuck here now, so. Ava and I are at the art party on Zalera. Oh my God, Slay. Slay. If you draw art of any characters, like any other Warriors of Light, I wanna see, you better post them in the server. I wanna see, I wanna see. <coughs> Most fast, but at least we have Friday the 13th soon. Can you believe that Friday the 13th is going to be in October? Is that not fucking amazing, by the way? Like, spooky month? Spooky day? We're winning. We're literally winning. I have some friends getting tattoos on Friday the 13th, and honestly, I wish I was joining them. I want to get a Friday the 13th tattoo. I don't think I will. I mean, I already have like a 13 tattoo, but it wasn't on like Friday the 13th. You know what I mean? Ugh, maybe, maybe I'll see if I can like, if I can like squeeze into uh, to an artist's uh, schedule. Why not join? I mean, I'd, I, I mean, like every artist is gonna be like book the fuck up, you know? But like, it's okay. I just want more ink. Period. I just want more ink on my body. I feel like. I feel still like a blank canvas. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I have this guy here, but the rest of the arm is bare. And yeah, I have these guys here, but like, it still looks naked. Like, I just need more. We're releasing the up an update to the game I work on on October 12th, so I guess everything's gonna break the day after. No, knock on wood. Maybe because I just don't pay attention, but I feel like in October, Friday 13th happens every like other year. I know, I feel like this is the fourth one that I've lived through, but honestly, good. Free real estate. You're so right, Mark. I have a lot of real estate and it needs to be covered the fuck up. Thank you for the 41 month resub. Holy shit, my, my audio was so cracky. Is it, I, let me just check if it's like, if the game is like this too. I hate this. Sorry, chat, hold on. Okay, the game isn't cracking. It seems like it's only the lo-fi. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna swap to a different a different um background track thing. Let's see. What should we do? Heaven's word music? Yo, you trying to cry? It's it sounds this sounds better. This isn't cracking for me. Okay, maybe it was just maybe it was just a lo-fi track. Maybe it was always cracky, but I never noticed it. My mom got T-boned on a Friday 13th. No! No, that's awful. I don't think I've ever actually gotten bad luck on a Friday the 13th. I don't think, I just have bad luck period. So it doesn't even matter like what day it falls on. I'm just gonna be miserable regardless. I've been thinking of tattoos lately, but I don't know if I get a tattoo, then my body changes shape, it looks strange. Uh, no, not really. Like it'll be fine. My weight varies wildly and my tattoos have been okay so far and I have them on arms and thighs to so place that stretch a bit. Yeah, like, it should be okay. I've seen tattoos as well on like, you know, on people who start gaining a ton of muscle and like, they might like, they might like widen a bit, but they look fine. Do you know what I mean? Like nothing, they're not gonna, nothing is gonna change. Mm -mm, mm -mm. 
I T-bone mums 24-7-365. Very funny, Mark. Very, very funny. Why not join? Why not join the, um... Wait, why not join what? Oh, wait, the tattoos? Is that what you were talking about? Or you were talking about LunarCon? <sighs> but yeah, September is already over. Literally, where the fuck did it go? I'm spending the last day of September at the Overwatch Grand Finals in Toronto. Is this really how I'm spending the last day of September at an Overwatch event? Yes. <laughs> I'm excited to like reconnect with some friends. A bunch of old friends and new friends are in the city right now, but I don't have the time to hang out with them. One has been pestering me. He's always like, let's go out tonight. Let's go out tonight. Let me come over. Let me come over. Let's hang out. Let's hang out. Like, bestie, no. I, I have a life. Red, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Overwatch? Nerd. Hey, listen. I don't play that game anymore. Okay? I don't touch Overwatch. I literally haven't played Overwatch since, like, Overwatch 2 came out. Overwatch 2 came out. I tried it. I hated it. And I uninstalled. I played it for, I think, like... I played two rounds. And I was like, yeah, no. I, I can't play this game anymore. I hate this game. <laughs> I got two months to finish my KoopaCon costume and I have to fight my procrastinating ass. Listen, do it for me. Do it for the coven, dentist. <gasps> Big success, Tuna. Thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to Coven Your Benjamins and your stay. Oh, have y'all noticed? We changed the the one bit sub bat one bit sub badge, the one bit badge. It's now a little soot sprite holding a little co koto. I don't know, I don't remember how to pronounce it, but it's like the rock candy. Because it kind of looks like like a bit, sort of, ish, you know? But it's like purple. <laughs> so if you've ever sent me bits, you can you can now have a soot sprite as your badge. You only need to send one, right? So boom. One bit and you unlock it. Salmon of knowledge, hello. Cephala Games, how you doing? I played the beta for Overwatch 2 but never played the actual game. Yeah, it's it's doo-doo, it's doo-doo butter. Jacko, thank you for the seven month reset. Welcome back to the Coventry Badge Monster Day. Hello. Kuya, hi, Kuya. How you doing? Greetings, Lady Mint. Greetings. Thank you for the one bit, Curly Samurai. Now you have your little subscribe badge. Now you got your little badge. I was never able to get past the loading screen with Overwatch 2. Yeah, that's the that's the toughest uh, battle, honestly. <laughs> Hello, my half elf just got some action in Baldur's Gate 3. Can we celebrate? Yo, hype. Whose dick did they suck? Or pussy did they devour? What's the tea? What's the what like tell me? Tell us. What are the goods? Who are you romancing? Don't haunt me! It's a valid question. <laughs> mm -hmm. My Baldur's Gate character still hasn't fucked anybody. He finally got his wish to be railed by Gale. Oh, I'm jealous. I love Gale. I haven't seen a lot of Gale romancers. A lot of people are romancing Will, Astarian, and Shadowheart. I love Shadowheart. I love Will. I love Astarian. But I think I might romance Gale. I don't know what it is about him, but like he reminds me a little bit of like Anders and Alistair. <laughs> and like, I just want to fuck him up a little bit. Hi, Empress. Hello. Welcome to the chat. How you doing? Hold on. We can fucking Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, yes, you can. Shahar is on her way. Oh, I don't. You're not claiming her. I can share. Like, we can share. Perfect. I find Gale very off-putting. I think because his voice reminds me of people I know. I wish I knew people that sounded like Gale. His voice is like silk. How's the audio chat? Let me know if it's if the music is too loud. I think I would pick Gale in real life. He makes me all of a flutter. <laughs> in real life, I feel like, unfortunately, I would go after Astarian because red is my favorite color. No, I did not finish the game. I am not very far in Baldur's Gate 3. It's been a hot minute since I've played. I need to hop back into it. 
Okay, I'm about to purchase a copy of Baldur's Gate 3. Yes, do it. Heard my name or am I hearing stuff? No, I said red is my favorite color. Like... I would, I would, ro I would, sh I would, I would romance red and re- not red, oh my god, oh my god. I would, I, I would, I would, I, no, I, I would, I would romance a starian in real life because red is my favorite color and he's a walking red flag. <sighs> uh... <laughs> anyway, hashtag team red, baby. <laughs> not, not paging Dr. Fruit and Slip. Oh, get me out of here. I'm ending stream. Bye! Where's my ending stream page? There we go. I mean, no, purple is my favorite color, but it was a red flag joke, okay? <laughs> I'm definitely doing a second playthrough for Astarian. He's a delight. Yeah, de he, he definitely is. I can fix him, you know? I can fix him. I'm determined. I'm determined to try. Any exciting plans for the weekend? Hello, Flansky. I am going to the Overwatch League Grand fa The Overwatch League Grand Finals in Toronto. Because I live here. Um, but I'm going to that on Saturday. And apart from that, nope. I'm just chilling. I am. I'm just chilling. Get back playing and walker making money you know the vibe i just noticed a sable on your mic how i have had sable on my mic for i think like the last year or two how have you just noticed sable <laughs> i do i do like elf twinks i don't know what it is about a twink but like twink energy kind of gets me have you bought any Pokemon cards lately? Uh, lately? No, I no longer collect Pokemon cards. That was an obsession that my ex got me into and it was really bad because I would spend thousands and thousands of dollars on cards and they're all collecting dust. I haven't gotten a single one graded. I really need to because as we all know, I have some bangers. Um, and I have a ton of unopened boxes that I need to sell because like I bought them to open and I literally never have and I honestly don't plan on it I think I would rather just sell the boxes um but yeah <laughs> I had so much trouble actually making a character who was a twin most of the mask faces are two masks yeah I'm not gonna lie I didn't like a lot of the face options that they had I think they were very diverse but they were there wasn't anything mask or femme that I really liked so I had to mod Baldur's Gate 3 to insert a face that I did like. I've shown you all my Baldur's Gate character, right? If not, I'll show you her right now. Let's see. Wait, where do the screenshots? Let's see. Where did I save them? Hold on, chat. I gotta find them. I started before they patched the extreme horny out and all three ladies threw themselves at my boy in the same trip to camp as they should. As they should. I have so much respect for that. <laughs> Damn, so like it was a bug that all the characters were horny? That doesn't feel like a fucking bug. They're lying! They just realized, oh shit, maybe we made it too horny. <laughs> Oh, here she is. Are you ready? Are you ready to see my queen? This is Paro. Look at her. Look at her, chat. This is my Baldur's Gate 3 character. She is so fucking beautiful. She's got like, she's got the little bangs. So the hair is a mod and the face is a mod. And literally like, I would, I would die for her. I would die for this woman. 
That's just you? Thank you. That's. I wish I looked like that. I wish this is what I looked like. I would give my right boob to look like her. Look at this photo I took of her and Astarian. They look so cunty together. They look so fucking cunty together. Like, how can I not romance him? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I like. I think for this playthrough, I will romance him because they look great together, but I want to pursue Gale or Shadowheart. Also, Shadow, how you doing? I sell cards on eBay all the time if you need help. Thank you. I will definitely reach out. This is my brother. He's all for me buying Pokemon cards from you. Oh, Slay Dentist. I'll talk to you about that later then. But Carlock exists. She's not my type, unfortunately. Not really my type. She's hot as fuck, but I can't get behind the personality. You'd have hell combing your hair? I already struggle with combing my hair. Do you see my hair? If, if I had this hair in real life, it wouldn't make a difference because it's essentially the same. <laughs> I have some Michael Jordan cards. Michael Jordan cards. Sell that shit. If the price, if the value has gone up twenty times, chuck it, chuck it. Ramen, hello. It's nice to see you. Carlock is all green flags, and that's a turnoff. Yes, I said my favorite color was red. What are y'all not getting here? Hi, Ronnie. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? I think I saw you post it on Twitter. Yeah, I did. But not everyone follows my alt Twitter, so not everyone has seen it. Even though she's actually red. Yeah, even though she's actually red, it's not doing it for me. Not doing it for me. Just because my favorite color is red doesn't mean I'm going to date someone that's red. Women like toxic men. It's not even like, it's not even that. It's like, I just need some, there's gotta be some zest in there, you know? Red flag, more like fun project. Bro, I literally cannot with Twitter, man. I can't with Twitter. Look at this. Is this OnlyFans? Why? Because my boobs are big? You know what I mean? This is just a photo of me with cat ears. This is just a photo of me with cat ears on. Is this OnlyFans? Bro, wait. Bro has never seen boobs in his life. <laughs> like, like, all right, dog. Like. Because I'm posting a picture where my gargantuan bazonga bongs are like, you know, existing, it has to be. It's got to be OnlyFans. It has to be. Twitter is actually fucking awful. It is so wretched. I don't know how the algorithm works anymore either. All my tweets are flopping. Like, I'm sick of it. I'm so done. Like, I'm so fucking done. It makes no sense. All that happens on this app now is people just harassing people. All I see is toxic garbage. Ever since Elon Musk, like, I mean, Twitter has always been tox toxic, but ever since Elon Musk bought it, it's just gotten worse. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. It's just gotten so much fucking worse. But I mean, boobs. Boobs. I got an email the other day from this guy who was like, I guess like a recruiter for his company or whatever. And he's like, hey, do you have a team that's like working with you for your OnlyFans? Do you need someone to, to manage your OnlyFans? We can do that for you. And he reached out to me multiple times. And I was thinking like, is this a bot? Like, am I just like in their email list? But it's actually one guy contacting me over and over and over. And it's legit. And I literally replied with, bro, I don't have OnlyFans. You look so fucking stupid right now. You look so dumb. You you have been in my email for like a week and a half, like just asking and asking, hey, like, do you need a team? Do you need a team? My guy, 
Did you even do a lick of research on me? Or do you just see a hot girl on the internet with boobs and assume that she's got an OnlyFans? You know, like, come on, dog. Come on. I got a fans lead, but like, hey, it's not, not the same thing, brother. Not the same thing, brother. You know? <laughs> I've seen that going around to a lot of people. It's actually a recruiting method. Yeah, I've seen a ton of like OF girlies be like, do not respond. You don't need them. And it's true. It's fucking true. You do not. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You do not need an OnlyFans. You do not need a team to run your OnlyFans. Make. If you want to sign up for these platforms, do it yourself. But you do not need a team to do it for you. They will take a cut of your income and you're already not getting much to begin with. Okay? Not every girly on these platforms make like, not all of them make a ton of money. Some people make like literally 500 bucks a month off of it. It's like extra pocket change for them, right? And they're getting like 80, like an 80, 20 split. Now, if you get one of these fucking dog shit companies to help you out, you're gonna lose more of that $500 not making shit. You don't have that many people like messaging you anyways. Do it yourself. You know, like do not fall for these fucking scams. Do not. Unless you're like fucking, I don't know, Mia Khalifa. Like do not do it. <sighs> oh my God. Yeah. Have y'all noticed too on, on uh, Twitter? Like I can't open any funny meme without going into the replies and just seeing more people with blue check marks posting more memes. Like the engagement baiting is so bad. It's so bad. Yeah, this app is just terrible. This app is just terrible. I've seen that going around to, oh, I already read that. Also, Selfane, hello, welcome to the chat. <laughs> You're so funny on Twitter, they should promote you. Thank you. Thank you. Where did the dawn? Hello, hello. Unless you're like some Insta girl with millions of followers, you don't need that exactly. Like 99% of users on like on platforms, on sub-based platforms do not need a team managing them. Oh my god, the person that replied to my tweet, I mean, their followers are bot or they're dead, but like, <laughs> they have 13.4k followers. Man, I'm so sorry, dog. Was it you who said you're working on it while you're pooping? Yeah! When I'm taking a shit, dude, if you get a reply to me either via email, via Instagram DMs, which almost never happens, or fan, like fansly DMs, it's because I'm taking a shit. So I want you to know that. If you like are, are DMing me and you're like, oh my God, you look so hot. Oh my God, like where'd you get that top? Oh my God, I'm replying to you from the shitter. Think about that. I finally got my blue sky invite. I have blue sky, but I don't use it. Like I, I can't, I can't keep jumping from platform to platform. Like it's so difficult. The only time I like, this is the only time I would need a team. The only time I would need a team is like in an instance like this, where I can get someone to take all of my crappy, like Twitter, Twitter, tweet, twit, twit, Twitter, tweet, tweet, tweeters, and then go and repost them for me on like threads and blue sky, you know, like copy paste. There's so much spam now, it's even worse than it was because everyone just verifies to spam exactly. I don't even read replies anymore. I'm mostly there for Sire tweets. Thank you, Tennis. It's a block on site. Exactly. Exactly. Twitter has become a massive freaking cesspool. Not that it was great before, but it's unbearable now. Yeah, it's just getting worse. I've left Twitter for blue, for blue sky for professional stuff and Tumblr for fandom stuff. See, I can't even find a happy medium because like for pre for, for, pe 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 for professional shit, I have to stay on dog shit platforms like Twitter. That makes so much sense now. I am a pooper. How much you be shitting? Hey, look, nah, 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 nah. It's not how much I be shitting. It's like that go 
goes to show how little I reply to people. <laughs> so if you get a reply to a reply from me, it's like, oh my god, she was pooping. It happened. What happened to that Twitter clone made by Zuckerberg? Threads? People still use threads, actually. It kind of died, but people are still on it. With the fiber-rich diet? Mm -hmm. I use Twitter to slightly embarrass Gab's VA when he says don't clip that. <laughs> what, does he stream or something? That's funny. If you get an audio clip reply from Syra, watch out. Yeah, my phone doesn't have the same kind of filters that my mic has, so you'll hear everything in the background. All the plops. <laughs> platform to platform like we're, f <laughs> we're fighting race Belker. <laughs> exactly. Next time I get a message from you, I'm going to assume you're shitting now and call you out on it. Hey, look, listen, you don't got to call me out on it. I know. He actually said he gets a pang for the meat. Hey, look, I also get a pang for the meat. Everybody poops is true, but not everybody shits. Man, last night I had some really really bad farts every time i farted i was like whoa and normally when i fart i'm not that like impressed i'm like oh yeah okay like that happened but this time i don't know what it was even my poops like something something was going wrong you know something was amiss i have a big pimple right here don't look at it, chat. I keep touching it, but don't look at it. I missed the opportunity to go on Twitch Mobile and talk and chat while shitting a few minutes ago. Kelsey, why do I even have you modded? You're not even, you're, you're not pooping on the clock? <laughs> pooping on the clock. Chatting while you're pooping on the clock? I don't think people understand shitting is the best time for those emails you need to send out. No, it's it like seriously is. It really is. Does anybody get anxious when they poop? Like, Okay, let me start that over. When I poop, I'm not, I'm not even just poop. Let me start over. When, when I when I use the bathroom, I don't flush until wait no okay. When I use the bathroom, I have to close the toilet lid before I flush because I am so paranoid about the bacteria getting on my toothbrush. But, like, you gotta close the lid first. And if you don't, like, do you just, like, keep the lid open and watch it go down? Like, why do you want to watch it? Like, why do you, why? Nixie, Nixie, hello. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Nixie, how are you doing? Nixie, how do you poop? Can you tell us about your poop? You put that lid down if you don't. You're nasty, exactly. I make sure the toilet doesn't clog. Nah. You you open it once it's done if you need to check, okay? If it's a really big poop, sometimes I do to make sure it, it doesn't clog. Hey, just look back. Like, like let it go and then take a peek see. Yay. Hi, Rick. Thank you for the two month prime resub. I appreciate it. Very happy to, I'm very happy to have listened to this wisdom. I definitely have to put the lid down. See, Nixie is a woman of culture. <laughs> I don't even look back. I flushed twice. <laughs> you just fucked that shit. What did I just walk into? Luna, how do you flush? I also close the lid because my cat will legit swim in the toilet if I did it. Oh my god. I'm so glad Waldo was never a toilet licker. With your hands? Oh. 
Oh, like you push the... Oh. See... <laughs> My mental image was of you like pushing the poop like down the, the down the hole like just going like that, you know, but that's fair. But do you <laughs> but do you <laughs> but do you poop? Do you flush with the lid up or down? I kiss the handle and bite down to flush. It's romantic. No! That defeats the purpose of the lid! I mean, that doesn't just seem efficient in my opinion, but I don't know, you do you? Using your hands? You're right, using your hands doesn't, is not efficient. It's nasty. I got nails too. I can't risk that. Pull it out and throw that shit like Tom Brady. I'm on the 30th floor. Could you imagine? Lid down. I remember hearing about the bacteria thing from the original Queer Eye for the straight guy and was forever changed. Yeah, I don't know where I heard it, but literally... When I found out that poo poo bacteria could get on like my toothbrush and shit, I was like, nah, I'm uh, nah. This is such a shitty conversation. But um, only way to show dominance it seems to throw your poop at people you don't like. Actually, that is a good idea. So what? Sometimes if I'm walking my dog with my friends, like when his poop is in the bag, I'll like hit them with it. I'll go like wow. It's in a bag, like nothing's gonna happen, but like, you know? Take that! On guard! Hwa! Waffle the poo down with your feet. <laughs> Bro, okay. I remember one day my ex was, um, like my ex used to like live with me kind of. And he, what, like he stayed here for like I think three weeks and one of our buddies came up to hang out with him while me and some friends went clubbing and when I got home so mind you I like this is when I just moved into my new place and I had to get a new plunger so I didn't have one I don't know which one of them it was but one of the boys <laughs> clogged my toilet there was nary a plunger in sight and so they went to town on the toilet with whatever tools and hands they had. And I was like, I remember I came home and I was like, guys, <laughs> you couldn't just go to the drugstore and pick up a plunger? <laughs> like, <wh> like <laughs> they tried cleaning it themselves. Like, why? They left me a present indeed. Oh, dude, any and all plastic bags were gone. Absolutely gone. Thank you. I just gagged. You're welcome. <laughs> just got to pretend you're scooping dog poop. Actually, you know, it's funny. Like, when you think about it, picking up dog poop and picking up your own poop is the same thing. Gotta change your name to Syrah Poops. <laughs> my, alt, my alt account is just Syrah Poops. Can we please change the subject? Um, are you the streamer? Do you got a problem with talking about poop? Poop is a natural, uh, but um, it's a natural thing. Okay, we all poop, Foyinski. Do you not poop, Foyinski? I hear like, <coughs> I don't poop. I shit. <coughs> Everyone poos exactly. <coughs> oh God, I gotta, I gotta put some holes in my mouth. <laughs> That's a kind of shitty thing to say. Poop phobia. Is there an actual phobia of poop? Clearly never played any Overwatches or not used to shit talking. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look this up. Phobia of poop. Coprophobia. Coprophobia is the fear of feces or the act of defecation. Oh, my mouth just farted. It leads to fearing one's own fecal matter, but many phobics may be more afraid of coming in contact with or viewing someone else's excrement. How do I get over my fear of pooping? <laughs> fear of pooping. 
This fear can affect your health in many ways and interfere with your daily routines. For example, it may limit your ability to have a job, go to a gym, interact socially with friends. <laughs> Tips to ease your fears. Remember that everyone poops. Try visualizing someone you respect, such as a political figure or actor, pooping. <laughs> Breathe deeply or do a short mindfulness meditation exercise if you feel the onset of anxiety symptoms <laughs> while you poop. Imagine Obama shitting. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all, let's get together and let's all picture, let's all picture Margot Robbie pooping. Ah. <laughs> Suddenly my fear of pooping is gone. <laughs> Good night, Hannah. <laughs> Why was it a cube? Is she a wombat? Is Margo a wombat now? Do you know wombats have square poops? I don't know why. I don't know like what it is about their like carbon makeup that make them like poop squares, but like they, yeah, they poop cubes. Why do you know this? Cause I really like wombats. All of the people in chat with scat kings are fiercely fisting themselves now. I, all right. That is what's gonna make me change this conversation. I don't want to think of chat fisting themselves. Yo, imagine if you could poop like origami poops. Oh my god. Wait. Imagine like you go like eh, mm, eh, and like you know like you do a little like eh, like a like a like a like a sphincter like eh, and like you can like change the formation of the poop. Thank you for attuning. I appreciate it. Are you attuning to my butthole? I love how this stream uh, is talking about pooping and my coworkers around me are talking about the days the brain frequencies are aligned. It's just a poopy kind of night. I don't know what to tell you. Imagine the scions pooping. Oh, I already have. Minphilia pooping. I thought about it. Nobody in Eorzea has anywhere convenient to poop. Okay, well, Pepper is a Mikote, so the world is her litter box. <laughs> it reminds me of the South Park episode where people sh shit out their mouth instead. I mean, people be talking shit, so that's already kind of accurate. It wasn't a complaint. I'm genuinely amused. I love this for you. I really do. All right. On that note, though, chat about the world being Pepper's litter box. The moon is also her litter box. We are in M Mare Mare Lamentor Lamentorium Lamata Um, and it's fucking beautiful. I I honestly do not know where the MSQ is taking us right now. But I'm I'm very excited. We need to God, what do we need to do? We need to go disrupt disrupt the little guys or the big guys? Like the ancient guys? I think that's what the ancient one wants me to do. Also, let me know how the audio is, chat. Imagine Roban shits. Oh my god, L, that that comment is for you. Some rabbits can eat their own poops for nutrition. Don't dogs do that too? But if dogs eat their own poop, that's a that's a sign um, that they're unwell and not getting enough uh, food. I'm picturing all the stuffed animals behind Sire just shitting in unison, making our gaming room just a smoldering pile of doo doo. That is a great image. <laughs> Thank you for the posture check. I appreciate it. Is my cam okay, chat? Should I make it a little bit bigger? I think that's good. I love to write, Sire. Creativity with words is a must. I love this for you. Make it the whole screen again? Is this how you want me to play the game, Red? What if I just like... Nice. Nice. <laughs> Uh, 
I only enjoy men theoretically. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> it's okay. Raban does not poop. Do not worry. He is not a pooper. Rabbits need to eat their poop to fully digest their foods. What? What do you mean by that? Okay, wait, where am I going? Do I have to go back up here? Oh, I do. Can I like, can I just go around? Or I don't know. Can I just go around? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try just going around. We're gonna go this way. The poop talk does lighten my mood. I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> Truly, I'm very glad. Should I have made Pepper a, like a spacesuit? Oh. So that's Zodiac in there, right? He doesn't look like fully formed. I don't know. Shit's lit though. Okay, so I think we're just going down this way. Cat ears! Oh my god, yes, thank you. I gotta put on my my MS Queers. My, my MS Queers. Is the audio okay? The, whoa, my PC is yelling. Um, The audio is okay, right, chat? Like, not too loud, not too quiet. Like, we chilling. Audio good? Let me know as well once we're in a cutscene how it is as well. They don't absorb all the nutrients from their food on one that just would go around. Wait, so rabbits actually have to eat their poo? Damn. Oh my god, that scared me. <gasps> hey, Rezzy. You scared me. <gasps> I get head pets! Thank you! Oh, I love getting head pets. Pat, pat, pat. Pity, pat, 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 pat. Okay. I need to fix my cat ears too. Beeston, hello! These just go for eating a lot and getting not much of it, which is why they shit so much. That explains uh, me as well, honestly. Okay. There we go. I'm good. I'm good now. Who's this? <gasps> Someone just lit up. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, they wanted me to, oh, I have to talk to them. I thought I had to kill them. <gasps> Apple, hi Apple, hello. Okay, let's see what they have to say. Where, when, how long? Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. All right, there's another one over here. Wh what am I doing? Am I just getting them to disappear? I think that's what it is, right? Let me see, journal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, is it even gonna appear? A trip to the moon. You at last locate the source of the voice who identifies himself as the Watcher, Keeper of Zodiac Seal. He tells you that he has restored one of the brands that keep the god of darkness in prison, but that he cannot tend to the remnants of the other four. Be said as they. Oh, my cable is is bugging out. Oh, I only have audio in one ear now. There we go. Um. Be said as they are by the restless spirits of sacrifice ancients that now wander the moon. Oh, okay, okay. He assures you that even. Should you expel them from where they stand, they will not be consigned to oblivion so long as Zodiac remains the moon's captive, and thus request that you aid him in maintaining that stasis. Ah, okay, right. It's all coming together. It's all coming together now. All right, dreaming spirit? This one's dreaming? God, they're so big. Was it truly so long ago? All right, and I guess this one, the forlorn spirit. Look at look at the look at the little handy enemies. All right, here we go. We were happy, at peace with the star. We nurtured it, helped it grow, with our will, our creations. All right. Let's go to the next one, which I'm assuming is this one, the somber spirit. Hi, brave. Hello. I'm good. How are you doing? How are you? Pepper's so small. I know, Pepper baby! This is just a little, she's just a little guy. Pepper, look at her. Look at her, she's just a little guy. 
The other strategy is having four stomachs like cows do because grass is just so hard to digest in one go. Wait, like that's not a joke. Like cows literally have four stomachs. Oh, is that me? Wait, that was you? Alec, was that you? Was that you running around? Wait, come back. Let me add you. What the heck? Ooh, we get in a cut scene with this one, yeah? We were the star's beating heart. It's like every soul a drop of blood flowing through its veins. To live, to learn, to create, to make better. The soft flourished, as did we. Oh. Do you remember? As the whispers die, the final spirit fades. No shadows of time's long loss remain around the drowning brand. She got the cum lips. Oh. What the fuck is this? What is this? I got a puppy? Wait, what is this? Wait, wait, wait. What is Oh, hello! Oh, hello! An unusually lustrous dog is gazing at you with what seems to be fond anticipation. Why is there a puppy? I love them, but I'm so confused. Look, they got braids and their eyes are like a terrifying blue. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, look at the beats. It appears to be waiting for you to follow it. Okay. Hey, look, I'll, like, I'll chase a puppy any day. Oh, there it is. Wait, Alec, this is you? You're Kieran? I add. Damn, look at you. Look at that armor. Uh, is that the, um, is it the Abyss armor? I don't fucking remember, but I wanted the, uh, I, I wanted the, what was it? The, like, dieable version of this? If that even exists? I don't remember, but, like, I had a whole, a whole fit that I wanted to do. But, you know, we're keeping this one for now. <laughs> All right, let's follow this puppy. Follow the luscious dog and try not to fall behind. Oh, damn. Oh, she running. Look at her. Look at her go. <laughs> she does look like an Afghan hound. Yuck. Wee. <laughs> eh. Where, where are we going? Where is she taking me? I feel like I'm playing fetch, but like I'm the dog. Oh, oh my god. Where are we? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where is this? Ballas Vulneris? Yo, I fuck with the name. Yo, why are you taking me closer to Zodiac though? Like, wh where, where are you taking me? Where are you taking me? Okay, I was like successfully caught up. I am not falling behind, which is nice. There's no. Oh, is that another one? No. That I got faded by what looks like cactusy coral. <laughs> Whoa! How am I breathing, by the way, chat? How am I like okay? Can I can cats just breathe on the moon? Like, what is this? Magic? True. True. Obviously magic. Girl, you just take me in, in circles? No, you didn't. The numbing brand. Oh, you're taking me to another another big guy? Another ancient one. I, I, I'm assuming so. Oh! <laughs> the dog silently regards the spirit that lurks near the brand. Temperamental spirit. We and the star were fulfilled. Wanted for naught. Mourned for naught. Why? Why did it have to end? Oi! Lingering grief? Yo, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. What's up? Oh, I'm, oh, this makes me so sad. Do you hear their little sound effects? They sound so baby. They sound so baby. They go, Ping! It feels weird 
to be the killing things called lingering grief, you know? Like that feels, that feels wrong. Okay, do I speak with them again? Yes. The final days taught us to fear death forced upon us. The injustice of duties and dreams left unfulfilled. The grief of unexpected parties. Hey. Swift as darkness, cold as ash. Such tragedy, yet no catharsis. Such truth, yet no consolation. you know but I guess you're right destroying the grief is the only way to move forward right <sighs> Arbsy hey just think of it like like we are just so badass we are like oxygen who needs it T fuck oxygen am I right maybe we're just really good at holding our breath I have asthma which means pepper in a way does too <laughs> As the whispers die, the spirit fades. All the silence is still around the numbing brand. I guess you could say it's numb around here. Now what do I talk with the puppy? Hello puppy. Hello puppy. This is like, this is so random. This is literally so random. Look at the braids on it. I'm out here looking for like a pink ribbon. <laughs> I'm out here looking for a pink ribbon. I feel like the only time I've seen eyes this blue was in like Reen, Minfilia, and like I guess like Ishtola before she got fucking blinded, you know? Lil Wheezy! Don't kill me. Alright, let's speak with the with the puppy again. The lustrous dog is once again staring at you expectantly. And who are you to deny it? Who am I doing that? I wouldn't deny it, pupper. Follow and try not to fall behind. I'm coming. I'm coming, puppy. Let's go, puppy. It's so sparkly. Why don't I sparkle like that? Wah! No. Get away from me. I'm following a puppy. I ain't got time. Maddie, how do you think of the fight with resub? It is serving, though. It is. Also, hi, it Pat. Welcome to the stream. Oh, fuck. Oh, we're doing a turn. What was the point of that? Were we going around those rocks? Oh, hey guys. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> you startled me, Kieran. Wait. All right, yeah, zoom ahead of me. Oh, I discovered the new location. Yo, are you just like taking me all around the moon? Where are we going now? Is there another, another big guy over here? What are the, what? Oh, oh my god, legs for days. What are you, Luna Tender? I'm obsessed. They look like the the blow up balloon guys. Oh my god, they do the splits. They're like little ballerinas. You know the balloon guys, like they go Woo! outside of like um like car dealerships. <laughs> oh, the dog silently regards a shadow that lurks near the brand. The anguished spirit. Ooh, this is the last one. Anguished. Hello. Our perfection came crumbling down. Such overwhelming despair. In that moment, we knew. Faintest glimmer of hope remained. We gave our lives that others may live. We gave ourselves to Zodiac. Hey! Oh, hey! Zodiac, entreating. Zodiac, our lord, our lord 
Lord and Savior. Oh shit, oh fuck. Oh god. Supplicating spirit to forge a world anew. Hey yo, what's going on? Yo, they're ganging up on me. Oi, hold on. Yo, I, I got beef with y'all. Okay. Look. Look how tiny I am. What are y'all gonna do to me? To live and love again. Is that what you want? You just. Oh god. Fill earth and heaven with light. Birth paradise where fear is a distant memory. If only it was that fucking easy. If only it was that fucking easy. I've seen this video. No! No! The pussy is about to get pounded <laughs> by the spirits! No! Does someone get pepper a couch? Hide the nearest leather couch. Get it away from her. She's just a little cat girl. <laughs> On Ghostbusters too. No. Oh my god. <laughs> oh she angry. Oh she angry. The girl, I would be too. Man, she got the cum lips as well. Pardon me, but would you be so kind as to step aside? Question mark, question. Who's this? Is it gonna be one I know? Oh, oh, oh they're all fucking vanishing. Okay, whoever this is, they're like, alright, like, we don't wanna fuck with you. We don't wanna, we're not messing around. Who's this? How can they identify each other, but like, I can't tell any of them apart? I mean, I guess, well. Maybe like that. Familiar spirit. Oh! Wait! Is this the one from Shadowbringers? Is it this? No, this isn't Hithlodeus. Is it, was it Hithlodeus? Was that the name? Is it this one? The one that was chit chatting me in the McDonald's line? <laughs> ah, the unmistakable color. The soul of a Zem. Oh, yeah, what the fuck is a Zem? But not the friend I knew. Self meant for you to have it. What does that mean? What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you What do you mean by that? What, what do you mean by that? He meant for me to have it. Those like little like the little butt plugs, like the floaty butt butt plugs. <laughs> do you need hot chocolate? No, no, no. <laughs> I don't need hot chocolate. If I if I don't say I want hot chocolate, I don't need it. I don't need it. But actually, I think I might need hot chocolate. They're referring to the uh, to the butt plugs, right? These butt plugs. Where are my butt plugs? Ooh, that's a sentence I don't want to say. How do I show desktop? Oh, that didn't do it. Fuck. How do I? How do I? Ah! Well, anyways, my background is pepper with the butt plugs. But th that's what they're referring to. You can just show the coaster I made you. Oh, true. Yeah. These butt plugs, right? This one was Emmett. Was this one a Zem? No. A, no, that one was the, the gold one. The gold one, right? The gold one was the one where they were like... Like that was like the one or whatever, right? Not a gold orange? Remember that we won! <laughs> yeah, the ancient butt plugs. Also, chat, actually, real quick, while we're on the subject of butt plugs. Just, just let me cook. Let me cook. Look. 
I got this art commissioned at the beginning of the year in honor of um, 5.3 or 5.0 and 5.3. This was uh, Pepper wearing, she's, she's wearing the Crystarium armor that she got because her armor got destroyed from absorbing all the light. Her hair isn't white, we kept it black because, well her hair is mostly black, but her hair did turn white because she was absorbing so much light. Um, but yeah, those are the butt plugs. That's what they're talking about, right? That gold, like the, the amber one that she's holding is the, is a Zem, the, the crystal of a Zem, right? Yeah. The crystals are what they use to transfer Sundered Asians to be one of the 145, giving them memories. Oh, that's kind of lit. <laughs> also because of Limsa Trues. A lot of cum. A lot of cum. But yeah, this is, this, is my, this is my Shadowbringers art of Miss Papussy. It's fucking cute as shit. I, I love it. I, f I absolutely adore it. Um, but okay. Yeah. All right. Let's get back to the game now. No more hot chocolate. But Emmett Selk meant for me to have it? I don't know what that means, though. Like, he meant for me to have it? I was meant to have it? Yeah, what? <laughs> Yeah, I am surprised! <laughs> this angle, though? You seem surprised. Why might that be? I, I, uh, cause I don't, I don't know what that means! Emmett hated me! And I mean, I kind of hated him too, but you know. <laughs> I, <laughs> oh no! Yeah! I was right! We meet again, Hithlodeus. I was right! Ugh, my memory. I may be dumb. I may be stupid. I may be a little silly. But it's all coming back, baby. Oh. Again, I do not believe I have yet had the pleasure no, we met, but no, we, we met, we met in, in like the, um, in the first, in, in that, in, in, oh, I forgot what it was called. In, in the, where Emmett, the, the thing that Emmett made. Fuck, what was it called again? Fuck, what was it called? What was it called? Oh my God. And there was all the pretty music. The underwater fuck what was it called what was it called it was like very bioshocky uh hot chocolate chat what was it called i know what it was called but it's like slipping my tongue amarot yes amarot that's it amarot amarot yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> man said gaslight gatekeep girl <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Amarok. Yeah, I met you there. The fuck, bro? The fuck you talking about? <laughs> Emmett Selk created a shade in my likeness. And not only me, but all of Amarok. Oh yeah! None of that was real, right? Unless. Anyway, I'm. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'ma just. I'ma just play the fucking game. <laughs> why did I? Why did I do it like that? <laughs> How very like him. <laughs> A slave to sentiment. To sentiment, even after eternity. Me. Sentimental. Don't get my pussy excited like that. As you may have guessed, I am different. I am different from the shade you met before. No mere approximation, but the original. Yeah, okay, so like, like none of Amarat was real. It was all like a fragment of, like, Emma's creation, right? Even like that final, um, 
dungeon that I did, which I think was called Amaron, I'm pretty sure. Like, none of that was fucking real. It was all, he was showing us the, the final days or whatever the hell. Um, yeah, I remember that. Because he had the fucking dramatic monologue over it and everything, and my pussy was pussy in. A soul sacrifice to some dog. Hey, boy. My other boy. My man. In vivid detail, the events leading to a purgatory. Yeah, I know. He made me remember too. He made me go through your trauma. I know. And it was rough. The plans and plots for our resurrection, Tidelands intervention, and zodiacs, and the stars, final fate. Yeah, that shit was rough. It was fiery. Like, yo, me too. Ween woon. Ween woon. <laughs> Literally just ween woon. They sound like Dory trying to speak whale, you know? And, like, I think that's how we should all communicate to each other now. Just <laughs> I mean, that's not how we're supposed to talk in the real world. It better be. We're starting a trend now, okay? Like we're digital dudes. Yes, exactly. Like we're fancy digital dudes. Then we drifted in a waking dream, our minds steeped in fog. Until you came. Until I came. I know not what you and your friends intend for Zodiac, the nature of the star. Nevertheless. Just say that to me. You cannot just say that to me. A heart is a is a heavy burden, and 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 my heart is, is heaving. Believe in yourself, and all will be well. Hey, I don't I don't actually believe in myself. I'm going through a little bit of an emotional crisis right now. Thank you. You know what? You believe in me. Ever believe in me? Maybe I should believe in me too. Oh, she's so cute. Ah! Oh. What is going on? Oh shit, did that just get destroyed? It's crumbling. What's going on? <clears throat> More new arrivals. Though. Ah. Van Daniel. Van fucking Daniel. That color I know. Unfamiliar, unfamiliar, but fearsome being. Is Xenos? Is it Ashley Tisdale? The whole high school musical cast coming in? Oh, oh she angry. Oh, she angry. She go. <laughs> she go. <laughs> literally, this is literally just what happened. Ready? She went. She went. <laughs> Todd, hello, hello. Emmy, hi. I have kept you from your duty. By way of apology, by way of apology, I will ensure that the shades hinder you no more. Thank you, Hesodeus. I appreciate that. Oh. Protect the final brand. Now, where the fuck did that, that dog go, though? <laughs> Is the dog gonna, like, escort me somewhere? Like, what, what are we doing here? Oh, hello. Hello, hello. <gasps> I'm Adelaide, my 
my sweet boy. My sweet boy, Madeline. Oh, yeah, we go back to the doggy now. All right. I don't understand this dog. I'm getting, like, like green vibes, though. But, like, the martyr. Oh, this looks lit. Oh, God. I'm scared. I'm scared. Xenos failed Hithlo's vibe check. <laughs> oh. Something has raised the lustrous dog's hackles. The dog growls, agitated. We must protect the brand. Come on, boy. Cry havoc and let's slip the dog of war. If that's you, by the way. Um. <clears throat> I'll go with the first one. We must protect the brand. Come on, boy. The dog nudges you with its nose. <laughs> you get the feeling it wants you to hop on. Stop. Am I... <laughs> Am I going to be riding a fucking dog? Hold on. I have to fix my ears. Hold on. Holy shit. What the fuck is Endwalker? What is this game? Game of the... Well, I mean, I guess it's not 2021 anymore. But game of the year... Am I actually riding this dog? <laughs> Ride the dog. Oh my god! With a powerful leap, the dog takes flight! Yo! <laughs> we go in! We go in! We zoom! We zoom! This is hilarious. This is so funny. Oh my god. This is kind of lit. Look at all the sparkles! It's like pooping out sparkles! <laughs> oh yeah, I am riding side saddle! Fuck yeah, Pepper! Oh, we just flew into a cutscene! Oh my god, am I gonna see me flying the dog in the cutscene? <laughs> I'm so excited! This is so ridiculous! Just like that, eh? See now, see you bad, bad high school musical cast member. So, bitch. In the nick of time, to savor the crowning triumph. Unbound and free at last. Oh shit! Arise! Was that the last Zodiac! one? Did they actually free him? Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. They're all destroyed. There's no... Okay, but one wing is busted. What can he actually do? We're good. We're chi... Oh. Oh, I... I, oh, I don't like the sound of that. Deprived of heart and will by the loss of dearest Elidibus. A creature of pure instinct, wanting for guidance. But powerful, oh so powerful, more so with every passing moment. I don't like this. Is he just gonna like zoom up? <laughs> Such potential. Even in this incomplete state. What are they gonna still do? Still the savior who delivered a world from certain doom. So here we stand. Yeah, what's up? What's up, girl? You know my intent. Consume the god, then the world. Stoke your fury to a raging inferno and dance among the ashes. Or perhaps you would face me here and now. A lesser but welcome amusement. Bro, I will fuck you up. I will fuck you up. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. 
That's what I'm talking about. Yes. That's my girl. A taste to whet the appetite. <laughs> A little foreplay never hurt anybody. Sorry to spoil the moment, but might I ask that you postpone the slaughter until I've said my piece? Oh my god, I hate I drama kids. I will be brief. He's like, um, what about me, Spotlight, please? You fuck. Let us have our moment. Okay. Okay. What? You remember when I told you that I wanted to die and take everyone with me? I meant it. What is he? Is he gonna fall? But oh my fucking god! No, he's ca oh oh he oh oh no oh no oh no. Oh, no. Oh! Am I gonna be siding with Zenos now? Like, are we, like, hand in hand now? Oh, fuck. Oh, we're getting... Oh, what's, what's going on? Did I get wiped out? Am I knocked out? Did I get saved? Where am I? What's going on? Pepper does not look amused. We are the savior. Oh, are these Asian masks? We have the Guardian, the Keeper of Natural Order. <laughs> or maybe not? We are the Arta, the Stower of New Beginnings. We are. <laughs> Jesus, fuck! <laughs> Jesus, fuck! <laughs> Such lofty aspirations, and what sweet irony that the world's saviors will become the agents of its destruction. It cannot end this way. We must return. These are the ancient ones. This is all of them. Great and good. Yeah. For the sake of the world. Wrong, 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 wrong! Lies and delusion! The dead have no power over me. This mask is will different be silent. Rest, though. Silence as the grave! <laughs> You're just sucking them up. He's just eating them all. We beg of you. The star must endure. Yep, they just got slurped. They all just got slurped by Finn Daniel. <laughs> Man, oh, she angry. She angry. Oh. Where am I? Girl, did, where did you pull that out of? I'm telling you, she keeps those in her butt. Who's this? Oh, hands. Believe and walk in faith. Let the light of your soul shine for all to see. Oh! Not quite the outcome you'd imagined, but a fitting one nonetheless. Who the fuck is... Don't you think so, Hades? What is happening? Wait, but you have flesh! You have flesh! I'm so confused! Yes. Put your butt plug against your boob. Yes. Boob. Oh my god. More, another, a summoning? Who am I gonna summon? Oh! Ah! Am I gonna summon like... Crave the more. What? Wait, where did you come from? I'm getting so much shit just thrown at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'm so 
confused. I clutched a Zem and and, I and someone spawned. I had my ability against Xenos, but a more tempting option presents itself. Okay, so like it's Ben Daniel, like okay. Oh my you god. Will me no longer. I don't know about that one, bestie. What is happening? Who am I summoning? What is happening? What am I doing? Is this like a protection thing? This is what we did in Shadowbringers. What is going on? Am I fi am I fighting Zodiac? Am I fighting Zodiac right now? What do you mean? 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 What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Hello? Okay, who else am I inviting here? I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't even like ping my static. I didn't. <laughs> this is it, yeah, this is the end of Endwalker. What do you mean? Like, what do you mean I'm fighting Zodiac right now? Is this not like supposed to be like something that's end game? What? So what is the end game? <laughs> All right, we just need one more. Let me see, do I have anyone in my friends list who's, al who's alive? Oh, Davey's not available, I guess. How <laughs> wouldn't you like to know? I would, this means I have to play the game. <laughs> uh, who can I invite? Oh, I don't wanna just like invite, we need a healer? Got a spot? Absolutely. Well, I mean, well, well, in case you didn't know, I will be tanking. <laughs> yeah, literally, like, what do you mean? Yeah, level 83, by the way. What do you mean? What do you... I'm so confused. What do you mean I'm fighting Zodiac right now? I don't have, like, any other comment. Like, I'm, like... Zodiac, right? Like, there's no way. Like, we're gonna get close, and then Zodiac's like, ha ha, and then they like run away. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is a short expansion level cap is 83. Yeah, fucking apparently. <laughs> oh my god. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, well, are we good? Are we good? We don't need voice chat for this. We'll be fine, right? Right? <laughs> I'll be okay, right chat? 83 is the new 90. Okay, yeah, we're good. All right, well, let me let me eat my foods. I'm not gonna get any XP from this, but... Hello, can I... All right. Oh wait! This is this is my first trial! This is my first Endwalker trial! Slay. Slay. We love to see it. Damn! That was quick! Okay, bet. Let's go. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh yeah, let me uh let me mute my alert. So sorry. Thank you for the five month uh reset by the way, appreciate it. The dark inside. Oh my god, I didn't realize we we're having a trial take place in my fucking booty hole. Let's go. This is so sick. This is so fucking sick. Okay, Aku Aku, let's go. Look at the mandolin. The 
Oh, he lived it! All creation shall bend to my will. <laughs> I mean, I guess this technically was a protection circle. I summoned... <laughs> I summoned y'all! Okay. Okay. All right, are we good? Are we... Are we good? Can I go in? Yeah, okay, lit, okay. The end has come, and it will be beautiful. Oh, uh, what is that? Okay, I used the, the right ability! Of okay. Oh, uh, what is this? What is this now? What is this? What is this? Where are we going? Why are we going this way? Do I gotta go this way? Are we going this way? Is this something to do with the arm? Arm placement? Oh, okay. Ah, get away! Oh, I fucked up my combo. That's okay, though. Okay. Oh, I don't have anything for that. Oh, uh, oh, I don't, okay, okay, is there anything else on the other side, is this that one? Okay. <laughs> Malice this is fine. Boy, what is this, what is this, what is this? Oh, oh, hey, it's a behemoth man, oh, is there another one behind us? Oh, there is! For this day. What is this? What is this? What is this? Uh, what is this? What is this? Oh, gosh, shit. Okay. Are we good? We're good? Oh, some of us are not. Some of us are not good. Does Astro Flow just like lift us off? Is that what it does? All in existence! Bend to my will! Ooh. Oh, okay. So, like, it does move. Oh, God. The great cat 
Cataclysm faithfully recreated. Did I do good? Broken skies full tears of flame. What is this? What is what? Are, what, are, what is he doing? Oh, oh I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! What is happening? Oh! 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 Okay! Oh God! Oh, two bone sacks. Okay, that's fine. No, it's fine. I, I'm not dead. That's what matters. Will you live to <laughs> see the end? <laughs> Okay, so I should I should just hold on to my big guy. Okay. Back to our realm reborn we go. Could you imagine another fucking year and a half of gameplay? Oh my god, wait! I've been playing this game for almost two years. Can you believe that? My two-year um, Final Fantasy XIV anniversary I think is coming up very very soon. Wait, what did you sneak in? Oh, thank you for the 100 bitties. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and you have a new 1K bit badge. We love to see it. Um, to the Hello, Pika Peach. What's up? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Is the man lane our danger Dorito? Who's going to be our danger Dorito? A man stood in very good spots. Is a man in the carry? I love all your Gengars. Thank you. I have two more coming in the mail. This background is just going to be Gengars at some point. You're perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay if you kill me. At least I'll be with your brother again. <laughs> um, are we good? Is there like, is there any hot chocolate chat? Is there any ability that I should be looking out for? The one where he does like the, like the astral like shifting. I feel like my positioning is important because like he's going to push me in the direction of the arrows into like the behemoths or whatever. And then I'm going to get my fucking HP just yoink. Like, he rotates the stage. Okay, so right, he rotates the stage, but still, that still, like, pushes me into that. Follow the Dorito, the Legion to save. You know what? You know what? Yeah, we'll just rely on a mandolin. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. We're good? Okay. Lit. The end has come, and it will be beautiful. Y'all know that the end has come? The marvels of Sirius were but playthings. Another one? Is there another one? That I can't see? No, it's just that one. 
become flesh! <laughs> Shall be complete! I know he has a big speech there, but it literally just sounds like he's saying, Soon my whole shall be complete. Mine! Oh! That's mine. all I hear! <laughs>
to see the end. get as close to uh, Zodiac as he'd like. Oh, look at him. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, dude. The fucking design is so sick. Look at that. Dude, he's so fucking cool. And so, like, where his arms and should have been, and, like, his torso have been chopped off, there are these, like, wicked little fucking portal things. That's one thing that I noticed. The side over here with the big wing, he's got one arm, and the side with the short wing, he's got two arms. I like that. I like the unevenness. Like, a, like it's even, but like it's not. Love it. It's fucking sick. All right, y'all. We finished Endwalker. I beat the game. All done. We're done. We did it. Thank you, chat. Thank you. It was so easy. Endwalker was so short. I'm so glad I took my time. I'm so glad I took my time with this game. Easy peasy. You know, I expected a little bit more. I don't understand why everyone loves this X-Pack so much. Could have been better. It was great, but like it could have been a lot better. <laughs> Fun thing, count how many parts of him are not attached. Um, one, two, three. Girl, I'm gonna fall off the edge if I do that. Wait, no, let me back up. This is... Is his PP pee -pee attached? <clears throat> 
Can I see down there? Oh! I see blue. I see body parts of blue. That's his waist. That's his waist. All right. Okay. Let's uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me on this um this trial that literally caught me off guard. Oh. Kelsey, don't worry about it. It's okay. There's nothing we can do about that. It's fine. And this fucker just watched, eh? Yeah, Zeno, so if that were you, I could have taken you down too. Well done. My preparations are complete and I stand ready to seal Zodiac away. Withdraw now from this place. The teleporter will deliver you to safety. And the watcher too was just watching? Hello? It's in the name of us. <laughs> Incomplete and insufficient. Of course, he was no match. Oh, we ain't done. Once again, you left my best laid plans in ruins and played your role to perfection. Thus. Seeing my victory! From the past, all I wanted was for you to kill Zodiac. It was but one of many methods to achieve the desired effect. It would have been the same had Zenos died in my place. But what better and more satisfying way to ensure success than to take control myself? Bro. My I sole got regret it. is that you live to tell the tale. Even so, I have fulfilled my heart's desire. Let your murder mark the beginning of the end. Hey, don't call it a murder, bro. The coming of the final day! Yo, what about the teleporter? Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Why is he pulling out of his boob? What is he doing? Oh my fucking god. Every orifice is fucking glowing. What about his mouth? Oh god. Oh my god. Not the flashbang. How quickly strength fades and blood cools. Old, familiar sensations. So many lives, so many deaths. No different this. I close my eyes and slip into the dreamless slumber. Rip. R.I.P. Bozo. A tired song and dance. Routine. Always I wake. But not this time. <laughs> Nothing left unsaid. Nothing left undone. Inherit my hell. Isn't that the fan of the opera from the Crystal Towers? I tone with glee. I recognize the fucking... The crazy ass hat. The man I was would weep for what I have become. The all-consuming contempt. What the fuck? What the fuck? What? What? 
But I've the wisdom of ten millennia to justify my answer to the question. No value in their existence. Not a wit. For all that I looked. None that I did see. A final chance, then, for Hydaelyn and her faithful. In Cataclysm, prove me wrong. This monologue is I fine, snake. though. Love a theater, kid. <laughs> oh my god. All shall return to nothingness. As was your will, Emperor Zande. Yeah, and that's the boss of the Crystal Dawn. This is Amon? Am 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 And every living being consigned to your oblivion. What do you what do you mean by that though? What do you mean by that though, bro? I wasn't paying attention to a realm reborn! What do you mean by that, bro? Emperor Zende's will? Brother! Oh, that's so pretty. Wait, I can't deny it. That's really pretty. I'm so confused now, though. Where did he... Jesus, fuck. Ah. <laughs> At last. What is, what is happening? What is happening? <laughs> deep breath, slow and steady. Hey, yo, I'm taking all the deep breaths. Oh, was I getting like a vision? Was it like a flashback? Was I seeing something from the past or from the future? What was I watching, Watcher? What's the tea? <laughs> Not the fucking dramatic music. You saw it too, yes? The blue star below, thrown into turmoil. Yes, I did! I saw it! Was that the final days, bro? Oh, she's still talking. Oh, she's done. <laughs> then it was no illusion. All was truth. With the death of Zodiac, the laws of nature over which he presided had begun to unravel. The final days are upon us! No! Cue the credits! What you witnessed was an omen granted by the Echo. Ah! A vision of the horrors to come. Now, what do I do to stop this? <gasps> I get why it's called Endwalker now, because we're literally walking to the end, because we have to stop the final days. Doi, <laughs> time grows short. All right, so. Ah! Hit me. Is it Xenos? Hit me. Oh my god! No, I can't even lie. Wait! Never mind. I was gonna say, this is like when Pepper looked like that, but that was because it was actually Xenos in Pepper's body. It was, so this is like his thing. No. It's like a Reaper thing. I'll find no fulfillment in a contest with you this day. Oh, am I not good enough right now? I'm sorry, you have more pressing things? What? What could be more pressing than my Claymore against your fucking neck, bro? Tell me, Ashley Tisdale. Tell me. Coward! Fucking coward. Slavering beasts gather at your gates, ravenous and eager. 
Already you turn to them and away from me. I must go forth once more in search of power far beyond the might of Shinryu. Power Ooh, to I make your heart that. run okay. over with rage. Man, he gonna go sucking up all these other fucking big beasts and For shit. For the now. eldest of primals was a betrayal of promise. A pathetic creature incapable of inspiring true despair. But Shinryu wasn't enough? Like, can you fucking believe that? That's this what fucking I crave. Guy. Pure, unadulterated despair. That's kind of hot, though. <clears throat> Hope will win the day. I will not fight for your amusement. Actually... <sighs> See, the first line is very peppery. But the second one... That's very me. <laughs> Which one, chat? What do I say? What do I say? Hope will win the day or I will not fight for for your amusement. I feel like number two, that one is like very me. Go for the bratty one. Three, great option, Red. Thank you. Thank you. You're so helpful. Say, play hard to get. He hates that. Yeah, no, we're gonna, we're gonna go at number two, I think. We shall see. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that that that's fucking cool. Steampunk ass like scythe. That's really cool. This is a dude just walking past me. He's just gonna... Xenos is just gonna walk on by. Oh, oh, this is so dramatic. What in the Bollywood is this? Oh, he's huge! Okay, what, okay. What in the Bollywood cinematic transition was that? What was that? What? <laughs> Damn. All right, let me, uh, actually, you know what? We can stay in a party. It's fine. I don't care. You can leave if y'all want to, but we, we can stay in here. Damn. That was, that was fucking intense. That was uh, honestly a really fun trial. I actually really, really enjoyed it. Um, but holy shit. So Fan Daniel is, Amon? 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 And he was like working for Emperor Zande? Bro, I don't even, I don't remember I don't, I don't remember any Crystal Tower lore. At least I think that's him. Like that's um chat, can you give me some hot chocolate? That's um the Crystal Tower guys, right? Now we do the extreme version of the trial and get you a mount. Slay. I knew this? Dude, My you are doubting my memory. The last time I played this game, when I did Tower of Zot, it was like, what, three months ago? Two months ago? A month ago? It was a long time ago. He told me who he was? I, I forgot. I forgot, bro. I absolutely fucking forgot. He tells you all about this when he kidnapped the elephant lady? Oh my god, did he? Oh, was that part of his fucking big ol' speech? Oh, the one in Crystal Tower is his clone? That, well, that's exactly what like sparked my memory there. Sometimes you gotta ignore the theater kid, bro. I was a theater kid and I was ignored, so like I get it. 
Hamon is responsible for cloning Zande among a bunch of other Allegan science war crimes. Oh yeah. Okay, some okay. Some of it is coming back to me. Like it's not like crystal clear. It's foggy, but like okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You forgot what you said during the cutscene like three minutes ago? I, I know, well, I'm asking for reassurance. To Insara's defense, it's been a while since she did Endwalker, so not remembering is understandable. Thank you. See, when Emmett said to remember those who lived, bitch, he was talking to the wrong girl. Cause this memory, I'm hungry. Should I order some Popeyes? Red had Popeyes today, and honestly, I'm kind of craving now. Kermit Viking, thank you for the 10 month resub. And just sorry, sorry, I'm heading a week back to catch up on the past VODs. Oh, I need to upload. Oh, I need to finish uploading my VODs onto YouTube. Actually, I have them queued right now. Hold on, hold on. Before you. Before you, uh. Get any further. What is the last? We finished Shadowbringers. The Shadowbringers mm, VODs are on there. Which ones do I have queued right now? Let me see. Okay, I have all the rest of like the Shadowbringers, like 5.3, etc., etc. And I think I have to get my Endwalker VOD up. I'll do that. I'll finish that tonight, I guess. Oh, oh my god, chat, look. Aww. <laughs> Look at them! And Sybil! So fucking cute. Yeah, I gotta I gotta finish. Oh, okay, this is an Endwalker VOD. Look, look, look. Beauty. Beauty. Oh my god, can I just watch this to get the lore recap? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll finish I'll finish uploading these so those who are like not fully caught up can uh, can get caught up. How long does it take you to do your makeup? It could take anywhere between 20 minutes to like an hour. You have a VOD channel now? I do. I don't know if I have a command for it. I should. I've had a VOD channel for a hot minute now. Let me see. Oh, it's just command YouTube. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Answer the Popeyes questions always, yes. Okay, before we finish this quest, let me order some Popeyes then. Man. The one thing... <coughs> the one thing that I fucking love about this game is how every every dungeon, every trial, every raid, everything just gets me so hyped. You know, no matter what, no matter what, I will be hype as fuck, you know? It could be the silliest thing, the most goofiest thing, and I will like I will be on the edge of my seat, you know? I think that's what makes this game so enjoyable. I am never like disappointed. You know, every so often, sure, I'll get a trial that, you know, I, it may not be my favorite. I may get a dungeon that I may not really want to do, but at the end of the day, the hype is unparalleled. I think it's because you care about the characters. Oh, for sure. Oh. Bye! Thank you for, for joining us in the trial. <coughs> Take care, Rezzy. Goodbye. Um, <coughs> no, it's definitely because I care about the characters, for sure. That That's a huge aspect of it. But it's not even just that. It's just the game is fun. You know? It's fun. So I get excited. Oh, and hello! Greetings, Sire. Nice to finally catch the streams. Hello, hello. How are you? Welcome in. No, 
off to go sub them. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, my VOD channel is, it just has the FF14 VODs right now, but I will try to add the FF16 ones as well. And then at some point, one day, um, I'll also, I'll like, I'll do like highlights of, you know, I'll do highlights of like the, the different X packs and games and stuff. <gasps> Dennis, thank you so much for the $30 donation. I just caught that. Thank you so much. And Gabe, thank you for the 14 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you for buying my Popeyes, Dennis. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Damn, the whisper seemed like it was definitely someone important. Uh, I don't know, I saw it. And it doesn't look that important to me. <laughs> well, we've attacked and thrown the god today. What now? Hey, look, listen, who fucking knows? Just up to your YouTube, thanks, thanks y'all, I appreciate it. I think we're almost at 300 subs. <laughs> Ash, hi! All right, okay, let's talk to the washer. Let's see what's up. I sense his presence on the moon is no longer, on the moon no longer. If you need not follow, then I, <coughs> my throat. <coughs> and I beg you stay and listen to what I have to tell you. <coughs> Holy shit. <laughs> do I have another holes in my pocket? Or do I have to go get one? Uh, I may have to go get one. Actually, no. I sound okay now. I think we're okay, actually. Of Zodiac and the end of all things. Alright. Rise up through the night. Lit. Here. I'll just suspend the party vibes. In shadows wake. Ooh, a weapon. The watcher would discuss grave matters with you. Before we speak at length, I believe a change of surrounds is in order. I have more than ill tidings to share, you see. I sense others arriving not long ago. Though my communions with Heidelin have grown infrequent, I have learned enough from her to know these are your comrades. <gasps> my comrades. <gasps> Did my children arrive? And as, and as luck would have it, They've already reached my abode. Come, let us join them. <gasps> oh my god! Uh, 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 uh. Do I gotta go see my babies? Oh my god, do I gotta go see my babies? Are my babies here? <sighs> okay, wait, let me... What mount should we use? Should we use a Shadow Wolf mount? God, this mount is so fucking cool. Like, this is so... this is literally like the Dread Wolf. This is a Dragon Age mount. I don't fucking care. Like, there's no way it's not. Um, Let's ride Waldo. I really love the tanks from this area too. Very different. Oh, like like tank gear. Mm -hmm. I have yet to see. How about you mount some bitches? Oof, you're one to talk. I don't know how to tell you this, Ray, but <sighs> although my there's no way my food is already here. Why are you pitter pattering? <gasps> my baby! Wait, only a few babies are here. Where are the other babies? Wait, where are my other babies? Wait, this is a merchant? What? Who? What? There's a pillar of industry. Oh, can I just... Oh, wait. <laughs> what? Let's see this. Oh, that is so ugly. Oh, wait. That's cool. Am I just like talking to... I'm literally just talking to a pillar. <gasps> Oh, that's so cute, it's purple! <gasps> oh my god, my brand. Oh my god, oh my god, my brand. I don't like the sword, but I love the purple. Anyways, okay. Ah, 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 ah. Hello, Uriange! May we presume this being is a native of the moon? Here I ask what happened before we arrived. Eh, eh. Yes, they are indeed the three I sensed. Well, where are my children? I guess, you know what? At least my wife is here. Look at her. God. God. God, she's just so fucking, she's just so fine. She's just so beautiful. I feel like I haven't stared at her in so long. Hello. Ugh. Oh, we are so undeserving of her. We are so undeserving of this woman. She is like the perfect NPC, you know? <laughs>
Please tell me this is voiced. <gasps> oh, hello! Oh, it's not. <clears throat> Thank goodness you aren't harmed. We did what we could to subdue the tempest before making our way here. Not without casualties, unfortunately. Some few detonated explosives, killing themselves and others. The contingent healers had their hands full tending to the injured and enthralled when we took our leave. Lest you wonder, Mistress Kryle- Oh, yes, Kryle, is she okay? Mistress Kryle hath also been delivered unto their care. Serving as a conduit for Hydaelyn's power hath taken its toll, but she will recover in due course. As for Alfino and Alize, they insisted on remaining in Garlemald, while we three rushed to your aid. It appears, however, that matters here have already come to a conclusion. Hello! <laughs> But what manner of conclusion, if I might ask? And is this the ally whom Hydaelyn bade you seek out? He's not unlike the shades of Amarot. <laughs> not unlike, perhaps, but not the same. I was created by Hydaelyn together with this place. It has ever been my duty to keep vigil over Zodiac, or rather, it was my duty. Yeah, I kind of fucked him up. <laughs> then Zodiac is no more. Uh, yeah, not without consequence, I'm afraid, for now the delicate weave of the star, preserved by his presence, will begin to unravel. If you mean to avert the final days, you shall have need of... Oh! Are you alright? What's wrong? My attempts to restore Zodiac's release have all but exhausted my strength. If you might allow me to rest a short while, I will share with you all I can. Ooh. Poor guy! Please do. You need not exert yourself on our account. Or on our account, I guess you would say. These crystals contain records of your time here, yes? May we peruse them while we wait? By all means, if you would review them chronologically, might I suggest beginning with those on the upper floor? I shall leave that to you, Pepper, while I see what can be gleaned from the crystals on these lower levels. Bye, Mommy! Damn! So all these crystals- oh! Wasn't that like a thing in Shadowbringers? Like Ishtola was like, she would like, she could read crystals or like there, there was something, right? And then she like passed out or something. Wait, which way am I going? My bad, this way. I have to go up, 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 up. She belongs to the sheets of paper tones. Pray review the records on the upper floor and I will see if there's ought to be learned down here. Okay, mommy. Whatever you say, mommy. You tell me to jump and bitch, I will. Thank her to Rianja up here as well. Yeah, it is. Thank Christy. <clears throat> Zodiac defeated. While he may have been in, in been in an incomplete state, that's nevertheless an impressive feat. But even if he had it, his demise was inevitable. Friend Daniel would have seen it to one way or another. Seen it one way or another. That said, he probably would have wielded Zodiac's power to wreak untold destruction before taking his own life. Making this the better of two unfavorable outcomes. True. True. Two birds, one stone! Dost thou suppose our host hath man maintained his solitary vigil since the very beginning, without rest or relief? If so, these records compri comprise the sum total of his existence. We must needs handle them with care. Oh, yeah. Be delicate with them. That's his- this is his entire life! I wonder if we're gonna get a watcher reveal. <gasps> Who's this? Don't jump. Whatever you do. Oh wait. Oh god. Uh, oh god. Oh no. Pep. Oh fuck me. Uh. Oh. Ah! <clears throat> so. So about not jumping. I heard that. I heard that fucking cackle. I heard that cackle. Who cackled? Was that you? Which fucking one he is. 
It's, yeah, it's a good thing Miko's land on their feet, right? All right. Okay, I did not know that I could like walk under here. Hello! Oh, the cat's gone. They left. All right, where, where do I start? Wait, I went all the way out here. Wait, where do I? Inspect the dimly glowing crystal. I did not see that. The dimly glowing crystal. We are interacting. As you gaze into the crystal, ancient knowledge of Zodiac flows through your mind. Daily summary, no abnormalities detected. No abnormalities, un abnorm abnormalities detected. These appear to be records of a long, lonely vigil on the moon, dating back to the beginning of Zodiac's imprisonment. Damn. All right, let's see where the next Sorry, chat. Let's see where the next uh, glowing crystal is. Oh, there it is. Past Uriyonge. Beep bop soup. As you gaze into the crystal, knowledge of past calamities flows through your mind. The records describe how, with each rejoining, Zodiac's thirst for freedom grew, as did the strain on the brands. Mm. Maintaining Zodiac's imprisonment appears to tax Heidelin greatly. literally no easy feat so each rejoining like strengthened him but weakened her question mark because his thirst just grew this one's warmly gl glowing why is it why is it warm where did you put this crystal where was it as you gaze into the crystal knowledge of past rejoinings flows through your mind the records describe the watcher's efforts to prepare an event in the event Zodiac broke free from his prison. The records go on to describe maintenance carried out regularly with the Loperits? Loporits? Loperites? Though it is not clear who or what they are. My pimple. I can't, I'm sorry, I kept playing with my pimple and now it's really red. As you gaze into the crystal, a record of an unexpected visitor flows through your mind. The records <clears throat> note the watcher's musings when a l elder bussy, a little bus is spotted on the moon, though clearly not for the first time. It is clear he and his brethren have a keen interest in freeing Zodiac from his prison, and yet they have made no attempt to destroy the brands. Perhaps they prefer he remain hidden from mortal eyes until the final rejoining. Perhaps they realize he would never dare we would never dare bring harm to Zodiac so long as he remains imprisoned. Hmm. Interesting. Stop touching it. I can't help it. <laughs> I can't help it. Oh no, hello, hello. Is someone on the stream chat from Days of Old Elder Bussy is mad at me? Yeah, that was a time, eh? <laughs> I can't stop touching the pimple and it's just getting worse. Chat, look at it. I have a child on my face. And 42 and still get zits? I almost never get zits. I get stress pimples, so I'm assuming that's what this one is. And I hate it! I hate it! Because it looks like I've got lipstick on me. Oh my god. Is my Popeyes here? I just heard Waldo huff at the door. Yo, we are one sub away from 300 on my VOD channel. It's kind of a slay. That is a human growing on my face. Oh my god, look at all the... What is all this? That was for my, my mascara. Look at all my imperfections. <laughs> Every time I get a zit, I borderline rip my skin off. I know, me too. It's so hard not to touch it. It is so hard not to touch myself. judge me okay are y'all acting like fucking saints right now i don't need that i don't need that okay okay well my popeyes is almost here we're gonna wait for it and then we'll chit chat with mommy or stola no 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 i'm innocent ray 
I don't believe it. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. Chat, you're all a bunch of liars. I see the way you sip for the characters in this game. I see what you say when Ishtola is on screen. It's a nice day, in it? Yo, Minato, what's up? Now, nah, fuck, red, he guilty? True. Vouch. Huge vouch. Okay, let me go check the door real quick, chat. Don't do anything goofy while I'm gone. Be good. Make right choices. Oh my god, those Gengar emotes are so cute. Oh my god, those are so fucking cute. <laughs> Not shot collar boy. Alright, one sec, chat. are killing me. Hacha chat, thank you so much for the two month resub. I appreciate it. Yo, Red Ace, what's up? Welcome back. How you doing? Hello. Wait, she drove away from me. My Uber driver <laughs> came to my came to my condo, drove away, and is now driving back. What is going on today? Oh, the buttermilk biscuits are fire. So, chat knows my secret, but what I do... <laughs> Popeye's teeth, no deadass. What I do is... Mo so, most people eat those those biscuits with honey. I eat my biscuits with mashed potatoes. Did she forget to announce it was dropped off? No, that's why I was at the door. I was checking. It's not even there. I think she just may have gotten... So, my building has, like, a really weird, um... Like, uh, drop-off area. So, she must have got, like, fucked over. Because it's a, it's a one-way... Not everyone knows that. <laughs> she stole a biscuit but came back for the drink. <laughs> Sire, are you going to Owl at all this weekend? Yeah, I'll be there on uh, on Saturday, tomorrow. I don't know what time, but I'll post a I'll post a picky on Twitter and Instagram of like my fit and stuff, so I'll be easy to find. Will you be there? I'm a bit nervous to go. I'm like not really a part of the Overwatch community anymore. Um, for reasons. But I do like, I love watching like the game though. Like it is hype. I went to the finals um, in Toronto and Anaheim last year and it was so fucking fun. Actually so fun. I just want my Popeye so I can continue the MSQ. Beep pop boop pop soup so What is happening? Anyway. You took a shower and you're not allowed to play anymore? <laughs> you're right. No, you're so right. I took a shower and then Jeff Kaplan banned me from Overwatch. That's exactly what happened. And honestly, Respect. Sorry, I got my shit together. Ooh, it's here. Sorry, I got my shit together, you know? Okay, my Popeyes is here, which means we can eat and then talk to mother. Perfect. get a cutscene with uh, voice acting because I want to nibble on some chimkin. Oh my god, I'm gonna shit so so good, chat. My poops are gonna be fire. Red? 
said, if you're in here, I just want you to know that they gave me <laughs> my fork fell on the ground. They gave me two two packets of sauce. So you know what? I'm just better than you. <sighs> Going to the door with cat ears on is wild. Hey, I do it every time. I have literally no shame, okay? I got no shame. I'm a cute girl wearing cat ears. What are you gonna fucking do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna say? You're gonna be too intimidated to say anything, you know? But like, also in my defense, I wait until they leave. Like, I look at the people and I wait for them to go and then I pick it up and I say thank you. And if they turn around to look at the door and say you're welcome and then see me with cat ears, that's on them. Burn the building? Okay, but then you're killing Waldo in the process. You really want to do that? Not <laughs> the food delivery person's like, oh, you're a Mikode main, I see. Oh my god, could you imagine? Could you imagine? Oh, <gasps> hello, Siren Chat. Has anyone watched new episodes of Shorzy? And was I correct in spying a photo of Siren? Yes! Oh my god, is it out? Wait, yes, I'm in the new episode of I'm in an episode of Shorzy! Wait, 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 wait! Wait! Is it, what episode is it? Is it episode one? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> where, where do, where can we, okay, I can't watch it on Twitch. Yeah, yeah, I'm in it. <laughs> someone, someone get, someone get a, um, can someone get a screen cap of it or something and like tweet me it or post it in the Discord? I can't watch it on, on Twitch, obviously. Shorzy is a it's a it's a it's a Canadian um, TV series about these like hick men basically. <laughs> I've never seen I'm not a letter I'm not a, no I've seen Letterkenny but I'm not a Letterkenny girl and Shorzy is like the spinoff of it or whatever um, and I'm in it <laughs> for like a brief moment. It's supposed to be like a scene where. The guy is going through Tinder, and <laughs> I'm I'm one of the girls. <laughs> did you see me being silly last night? What what do you, did I see you being silly last night? Maybe. I don't think so. Hot girls of Sudbury, Ontario. Yeah. <laughs> Can someone get a screen cap, please, and thank you? I need to see this. I'm waiting. Here it is. Oh, a girl. Tweet me or post it in the Discord server, because links don't work here. Or link it to Kelsey. Mm. <laughs> this is so funny. I need to see this. I literally completely forgot that I was in Shorzy. <laughs> But you can, yeah, I was paid for this. Don't worry. Wow. Amazing. This is so fucking funny. 
Oh my god, and the amount of likes is boob. 8008. Boob. <laughs> I've peaked. This is hilarious. Your poor back for this photo? Hey, my back was hurting, but I look good, okay? Can't believe that's what you're focusing on, Red. You disappoint me. Damn, that's hilarious. That's really funny. Yeah, thank you for um, thank you for uh, reminding me. That's so funny. That's so funny. I gotta make a tweet about that uh, at some point. Not yet on screen TOS. No. No. You can't see anything. At all. It's just a bikini pic. It's literally just a photo of me in a bikini. Yeah. Did you learn anything of import? All right, I'm eating my chicken, but I want to listen to Ishtola. This is so unfair. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> So it's as we suspected. Maintaining the brands will require a great deal of her energy and focus, and this cost has grown higher with every rejoining. That will explain why contact with her has become rather infrequent since the seventh umbral calamity. Does that have to do with like his body parts being chopped off too? I too made a rather startling discovery. This heavenly body we know to be the moon was in fact created by Hydalin. Mm-hmm. That's what they mentioned. When the water said he was created together with space, I thought he only meant this facility. Truly, truly Hardin's powers are far beyond anything I could have imagined. Good scene. I need your autograph now. You all sign your boobs, don't worry. <laughs> Yo, King, hello, hello. All right, this looks like it's gonna be voiced. Yes, it better be. me this short reprieve. It is we who should thank you. The records stored here are nothing short of extraordinary. There is much we could learn of Zodiac and his imprisonment. But perhaps you could offer us more focused guidance. Pray, tell us of the calamity that came before and comes now again. Oh. He's not getting um, 
Unless one of you, like, wants to come and clean his ass for me, it's not happening. Sammy is just so regal. Not my guy. Actually, you know what? Fuck y'all. I'm giving him a tiny piece. I don't know why I said fuck y'all. I mean, fuck me, but it's a teeny tiny piece. Come Up. Up, baby. Up. Come on. You can do it. Up, baby. Up, 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 up. Yes, that's my fubu zubu. No apologies needed to see Waldo. <laughs> He's best boy. I'm already gonna walk him, might as well clean him. Thank you, Lewis. I'm using the real name. Real name is coming out for that one, because you know that's a big task. I know. The Lewis command, the Devon command, they're all gone. Ooh, wait, we're getting lore. Who's Devon? Yo, T. T. Okay. Let me put my um let me put my food away so I can focus on the story now. Man, Popeyes is too good. Popeyes is honestly too good. I don't trust people that don't like Popeyes. I get it, like having it a ton is bad, but like when you're streaming, nothing tops it. Nothing. It is such a fun little like quick like food to eat while you're streaming. Or just doing work, you know? Popeye sponsorship when? Yo, the amount of times I order Popeyes, I should get sponsored by them. Has a streamer ever been sponsored by Popeyes before? Can I be the first? Yo, Ray Garcia, what's up? My favorite command was Simp. Does that one still exist? There has, and it wasn't me. The audacity. Beautiful. Bionics! Hi, Bio. How are you, Bio? Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Long ago, before the Great Sundering, there was but a single world. Ethyrus, Ethyrus, Ears. <clears throat> oh god right one day from within the earth a terrible cry issued forth affecting a profound a profound change in all manner of life we were not exempt our creation magics ran rapid giving shape and form to thoughts of hopelessness and despair God, this shit was so sad to play through. Like, so sad. At first, the phenomenon was limited to a single region. But quickly, so very quickly, it spread and engulfed the whole of the star. Were the ancients ever able to deduce its source? Its sauce? The sauce. The sauce on the stove. They were not. However, the convocation struck a great effort to predict where the next corruption would manifest. And the convocation, that those were like the um was it the Asians or like it was like Emmett and, and all them, right? There was like fourteen of them or something. You can give me some hot chocolate chat, it's okay. Genuine question. Yes, yes, I think so. Slay. Like... 
Yeah, it was like the ancient ones that would like hold meetings, right? Yeah, the convocation of the 14. Yeah, the Asian government. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Does this detect it? <laughs> the etheric energies which flow through all of creation in the form of various currents. Currents which course through the land and the seas. Oh, sorry. Which flow through the very air. This is and those of a celestial nature which encompass both our star and this moon. This is so cool. Celestial currents. I cannot say I am familiar with the concept. expect you to be. You scholars ever time you of their existence. Oh, I just noticed Ishtola has like the feathers in her hair and on her dress. I didn't know they were on her dress too. Their invaluable knowledge helped us to better understand the nature of the calamity. Like the terrestrial, the terrestrial ones of Earth and Air, the celestial currents form a vast network, but the ethereal distribution is not consistent. The Convocation soon realized that the exciting incidents occurred in regions with the flow of the Let's eat it. It's like more damage. Correlation without clear cause, ultimately. Nevertheless, in close study, the stagnancy of ether is observed in the nearby currents. Stagnancy of like, <clears throat> And so they sought a means to harness the forces mm. of darkness, of activity and growth. Mm. Thus mm. was Zodiac conceived. The lore is luring. No less a power than a god's could set right the laws of nature and quicken the flow of ether within the star. Precisely. The advent of, Zo of Zodiac, our end was averted. Okay, okay. Emmett Selk claimed that those who summoned Hydaelyn did so because they saw Zodiac's power as a threat. Is that true? Yeah, that's what... And then, like, they were at war or whatever, right? I still can't believe Hydaelyn is a, is a primal. Fuck. I got my taytoes all over me. Potatoes. There was a faction opposed to Zodiac's creation, but the aim was never to unmake him. <clears throat> they understood the continued preservation of the natural order was dependent on his very existence. Until we could identify and address the underlying cause of the final days, he would need remain, for his departure would set in motion those apocalyptic forces once more. Hydaelyn recognized this as well, and so, rather than destroy, she sundered Zodiac from the cell and the star into lesser reflections, that she might confine him in this place.
I could have sworn she beseeched me to banish the darkness. Then what she told me in the ethereal sea was false. Dude. <laughs> am I a warrior of light or am I not? Then what she told me in the ethereal sea was false. That the two ones dwelled as one until Zodiac and the power, upsetting the balance twixt them. Quite a lie, the rather gross embellishment. But knowing what you know now, you must surely be able to realize why she might opt to offer statements. Hydaelyn and Zodiac are both constructs of man. So fuck vibrant. It's so crazy. Approximations of perfection limited by our own imaginations. That's so fucking crazy. They created this primal that we like believe to be like a god, basically, like the mother crystal, whatever shit. Like, bro. Oh, let me catch up with chat. Omni, hey! Champagne Babuji, hello, hello. Hi. Hi, Riku. Do you just make sounds of your characters talking? Yeah, exactly. It's Pepperese. Exactly. That's been Pepper's voice since day one. Zodiac was, without question, the more powerful of the two, having been born from the sacrifice of half. Right, of half Ether Etheris? Etheris' population. Man. Wait, how was Hydaelyn created again? Like, by them, but like... Uh, I don't... Oh, I don't remember. Did some of the... Some of the 14 sacrifice themselves for Hydaelyn? Right? Thus was it necessary for Hydaelyn to commit herself wholly to his death. So more effort was needed to confine them. Oh, my bad. Maintaining the brands taxed her gravely. And with what power she did, she cried out to any who might listen. Right! And to, she cried out to any who might listen and offered her blessing to those who heeded her call. <gasps> Me! 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 Though it was likely within the power to do so, I believe she did not wish to speak of the theorist and her history. She didn't want to confuse the poor the pussy. I feel so blessed. I feel so bad interrupting the wee 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 like dialogue. I feel like I have to let it go. No, me. No me! No me! <laughs> no. This lore is fucking crazy, man. Like Zodiac, Hydaelyn's purpose is a reflection of the creators. They wish to look to the future and not linger in a prison of the past. The Asians set in motion seven rejoinings before we came to oppose them. How many more worlds would have been lost had we not placed our faith in her? How many more souls living in the present would have been snuffed out for the sake of those long dead? Well, in light of recent events, I see no reason to doubt your word. And even if Hydaelyn is not a god in truth, if Minfilia believed that we should trust in her plans, then I choose to do just that. What a loyal boy. Which brings me to a rather important question. Let's suppose we try but fail <clears throat> to stop this second coming of the final days. Should the source fall, mm. what will become of the other worlds? Great fucking question. 
Thancred out here asking what's really important. He said, fuck all this lore. Let's talk business. Say this proposition fails. Then what? The nomenclature? 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 Nomenclature is more fitting than you know. Nomen? Nomenclature? What does that mean? Nomen? Nomenclature? No, nomen, nomen, nomenclature, nomenclature, nomenclature. Oh my god! Naming convention, way of naming things. Okay, okay, okay. Bring ruin to the source, and its reflections will share its fate. So if the source gets... I can't have my job. So if the source gets destroyed, every, like, remaining reflection goes with it. Holy fuck. Does that mean the first? Does that mean my other children? Oh, fuck. <laughs> An earthquake. More visitors. Wow. Wow. They literally, they literally sound like the adults in um, in what do you call it? Uh, in Charlie Brown. <laughs> ah, it is ready. This way. So. What's ready? What's going on? Does this have anything to do with the lollipreets that they're working with or whatever that they were talking about? Whoa, what's that? Beautiful sight, is it not? Whoa! <laughs> yes, but what is it? I did not need better. Penny, that her power was not absolute. Indeed. She has never struggled to hold Zodiac and is faithful at bay. She feared the worst and so made preparations. In the event of his demise, there would be a contingency. This moon is more than a prison. It is a vessel capable of bearing the people of Aetherus to safe harbor. Oh my god, it's like Mars! <laughs> you need not go far to find its pilot. In fact, I should be happy to take you to them. More big guys or what? And fulfill my final duty as watcher in the dark? Are they gonna fucking disappear? Wait, this just got sad. This just got sad. I mean, like, I guess not like sad, sad, but like my final, my final duty. Like, damn, it's kind of deep, you know? All right, let me see what this weapon is. I love that I just have Emmett self chilling in my in my uh my inventory. Oh, I got the great sword that I didn't like. Eh, that's fine. All right, who do we speak to? Oh, the watcher. Let's speak with the girly first. It may be true, but others will struggle to believe it. I can scarcely believe it myself. The moon is a ship. Well, no, I've heard everything. I should very much like to hear more of this extraordinary story. I really thought Uriange was gonna be like fascinating and I was kind of right. All right, what's up, Watcher? <laughs> Helping hands. At long last, the Watcher's ready to fulfill his final duty. The time has come for you to be on your way. The crater at the, the, crater at the heart of Mare Lamentorum, where Zodiac was imprisoned, is not so easily traversed, however. 
Well, let us call upon Argos, the familiar whom you met earlier. He should have no trouble bearing you across. The familiar? The dog? As Highland created me as the, as the jailer, so too did she create Argos as the guard. It is his nature to appear when needed, and yet he is nowhere to be found. Strange. Perhaps the imbalancing of ether has affected him. Let us make for the crushing brand and attempt to call upon him there. You need but recall the path you path you walked with Argos before, and you'll find your way. I gotta remember the path. If he labors and serves to hide its plan, I see no reason not to do as he suggests. Shall we make for this crushing brand then? They want me to find the puppy. No, I can find the puppy. I don't necessarily know exactly where to go to find the puppy. Oh, right, okay. Oh, I gotta go all, all the way there? Oh, fuck me, okay. <laughs> all right, let me ride this puppy and, and see how well I fare. Okay, uh, there's like a little bridge somewhere here, right? Yes, so we're gonna go there and I guess we can, can I cut through this way or should I just go all the way around? I don't know. I'm assuming they're talking about the puppy. Can I pet the dog? Well, we couldn't pet the dog, but we could ride the dog. So, hey, I'll take it. This moon is more than a prison is a Final Fantasy-ass sentence. It really fucking is. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's dramatic as hell, bro. Honestly, like, the dialogue in this game is so good. I love how corny so much of this shit is. Love it. I love corny stuff. <laughs> the cornier, the better. They're gonna convert this building into a spirit Halloween store, no! <laughs> Should I cosplay an ancient one? Would that be a cute stream idea? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, fuck. Bless me. Wait, can I can I not just like hop up here? I guess not. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My sneezes are sneezing. So much of this part of the X pack is just pure fan service to FF4 fans like my old ass. Well, I love that for y'all. Shortest person ever cosplays 18 foot tall ancient one? Fuck yeah, dude. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that, Ulmo? Thank you, Dennis, for the hundred biddies and for the blessing. Oh, hey, Black End, what's up? Hello, hello. Yeah, you can type your words on screen and only say we all we all wow out loud. Oh my god. What if we did it like like a sub goal thing or whatever? And every time we hit a specific amount, or like I got gifted a certain amount. Y'all, like, I, I couldn't speak. I had to just go. <laughs> Is that a fate? Yo. Audible, indistinguishable noises. Most of my streams are like that, anyways, you know? So. Oh. Ah. Okay. Right, we've made it here. The place we seek is just ahead at the. Col. Col. Chloro, chlorophos, chlor, chlor, chlorophos, You see, Argos cannot manifest without sufficient concentrations of ambient ether. You would be hard pressed to find a greater confluence than inside this cavern. Follow me. On the way. On the way. Oh. Alright, so we're going in here. Ooh. This is so cool. This is so fucking cool. The Clara first. Weeper? Weeper? Oh no, the weeper is touching me. The weeper, the weeper is coming out of me. Oh, he dipped up a dip, 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 dip. Oh, he dipped up a dip, 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 dip. Go away, go away, go away. I don't mean any harm. Thank you. Oh, she's touching the, the, the boobs. Those look like nipples. Or like eyes. But they look more nipply. This entire cave is thrumming with ambient ether. Alas, any further analysis will have to wait. She says as she's- Oh, even Orianger is touching them. Curious, this place doth call to mind. Pla any home of Numau. Numau. Were those the, the guys from the first? Whoa, what the fuck just happened? From the first? 
No, they didn't even have a gender, right? It was the, um, like the dog rabbit things, right? I don't know. May, may, may I, th I feel like I'm wrong. Yeah? All right. Pretty Ange touching them. Think of Moonbrita. Oh, Moonbrita. Gone but never forgotten. Never forgotten. New Mal were generous. That's what I said. Yeah. I remember. The god of Zodiac's prison, eh? Blood red eyes, slavering mold. Built like a behemoth, I'd imagine. Let's hope he's friendly. Alright, let's speak with the butcher. Yes, here we'll do nicely. Lunar spun spongoy. Spongoy. <laughs> Draw ether from the ground, which is then dispersed in the air. Like spores. At present, however, the ambient energies are not quite sufficient for Argos to manifest. Why do you be willing to spare some of your own, your own to help the spun spongoy along? <laughs> Um, yeah, is that what they're doing? Am I just doing that too? I mean, yeah, Lunar Spongy Bung Boy. Let's go touch the tit. Nice. We're attuning. We're attuning. <gasps> Puppy! Hmm. <laughs> Argos manifests in a flash. He seems glad to see you again. There's an anthem. A most fascinating creation of Hydaelyn's. Would you not agree? Oh, Hyd like Hydaelyn like actually created Argos. Like, well, it's a Hydaelyn puppy. Is this just this is just a, a, a Hydaelyn pup? Okay. <laughs> Should the need arise, he is even able to create reflections of himself on a whim. Though I assure you, it was no reflection which accompanied you earlier to the brand. Now, Argos is quite eager to be on your side then, as he is now, it seems. I cannot recall when last he showed such an affinity for anyone. Indeed, I thought him more likely to shy away from you and your companions. Perhaps it was more than a sense of duty that compelled him to aid you before. Hi, hey, buddy. As for your companions... <gasps> Oh my god! We all, we all get one! Unexpected, but greatly appreciated. Oh. I believe we're all ready. That was an interesting pan. Uh, yeah. Let us return outside that you may cross the chasm. Look at all the perps! This is so fun! We all just get a little Argos. I love it. I love it. I love it. Are we going this way? Am I going the wrong way? I hope not. No, I'm going the right way. Eee. Doggo loves Pepper. Who would have thought that a dog would love a cat? Who would have thought? No! Get away from me. Get away. Get away. If you don't get away from me, I'll just have to kill you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, goodbye! <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's see, how far are we going? Oh, all the way over there? Okay, can I... Man, where is my dog? Let me ride my dog, bro. <laughs> oh. They're fucking up this, this, this fate. You got this! You got this! Slay! Lollafell, slay! Alright, and we're going this way. Oh, I see him. Would you all go into space for tourism if you had the chance? Fuck no. I'd be way too scared. Not for tourism. For permanent, like, for permanent sake, maybe. Hi, Devin! Like, if I was going into space to live somewhere else, sure. Argos favors you with what could almost be described as a conspir cons consp conspiratorial grin, okay? Dalamud has long been described as a loyal hound of Menfina due to its relation to the greater moon. It seems highly improbable, if not po impossible, for ancient peoples to have known of Argos, but now I wonder where there is some connection. Wait. Dalamud and Menfina? Argos and Hydaelyn? <laughs> to whom was Hydaelyn and trust the companion of so grand a vessel, I wonder? Yeah, what god? I don't fucking know. 
I was expecting something a little more intimidating and less man's best friend. Hey! You don't think this is intimidating? Give this bitch contacts! Give them contacts, bro! They're cute as fuck, but they need brown eyes. <laughs> Ziggs, hello! Yes, the ears are out. We're MSQing, baby. Your destination is the structure there across the cradle of darkness. We climb onto Argo's back and he will take care of the rest. Once you arrive, it should not take long to find the ship's crew. The facility is, as, is designed to rouse them from their slumber in the event of Zodiac's destruction. Rouse them from their slumber? Heed their counsel. Together you may guide the star and its people to a kinder fate. This is where we part ways, but know that I shall ever be watching and praying for your success. No, don't vanish. Oh, we're still here. Okay. Our allies' assurances notwithstanding, we cannot be certain what awaits us on the other side. So perhaps it would be best if we did not all go at once. I propose the two of us cross first while Thancred and Uriage wait here. <gasps> A date with Ishtola and our pups? Oh. Oh, onward! Oh my god, this is what dreams are made of. Whoa. Oh, holy fuck. Malefic ether yet permeates from the crater. Remnants of Zodiac, most like. God, that's fucking sick. This is so cool, this is so cool. And like the camera, like I can like only kind of control it. This is so cool. <laughs> this is so fucking cool, just a little further. Ooh, are we going in here? This is so pretty. This is so fucking cool. This is, this is like, it feels like Tron almost. This is dope. shit it's like if tron and the crystal towers had a baby the structure is enormous though that is hardly surprising given the size of the average emer emer emeratine emerat emer emeratine 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 apologies for the wait right then let us head inside and oh are they coming in with us Oh no, they're vanishing. Bye! Oh, Argo is staying? Most intriguing. A means by which he can serve his energy, mayhap. Well, I certainly wouldn't want him to blink out of existence on our account, helpful as he's been. Thank you, Argos. We'll take things from here. Stay here where it's safe, alright? Yeah, we're gonna go at number two. If Argos is to remain without, let us not keep him waiting over long. Mm. I'm sure he'll be fine, but I do love the idea that, like, Pepper is worried. Like, please, like, please don't do anything silly. You know, it's cute. Oh, wait. Can I, can I talk to Argos? Oh, and return across the chasm. Speak with Thancred? Where the fuck is Thancred? Oh, am I just oh are we oh are we walking through the Oh Whoa What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? This is so cool What's up, Red? This is so fucking cool I'm these look like ether crystals. What am I Can I fall off the edge? You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not testing it. I'm not going to test it. <laughs> why am I there? I don't know why you're there. Its scale is reminiscent of Amarat, or rather the replica we visited on the first. You think? Thank you for the kiss. <laughs> Red, thank you for the eight month resub. Truly a marvel beyond description. Oh, that does kind of like this does kind of look like the like the Amarat um, etherite kind of.
Damn, would have been great if Pepper led a legion of good boys into the Tron cave. Mansion, hey, what's up? Yo, seems this is a good time to arrive. Hello, Chunky Ninja, what's up? You did, you absolutely did. I'm excited. Oh, okay, we're getting sinister music. Ah, that's not what I expected. And, oh, it just got brighter. Did it just get brighter? Am I crazy? Our moonship pilot should be around here somewhere. Is that right? I'm scared. Am I gonna get ambushed? They speak. I know, I know. This 1,243rd inspection is a mite ahead of schedule, but it is of the utmost importance. For Zodiac, alas, is no more. As of now, our mighty moon has a new purpose to bear the people of Aetherius to safety. Our time is come, my friend. They're so excited! They're so squeaky! We must be swifter than swift. There is much to do before our guests arrive. Bitch, I just got here! I expect your workstations to be immaculate. And immaculate. don't forget to relay our signal to Etheris. Yeah, guys, don't forget! Questions? Yes? No? Maybe so? No? Then hop to it! <laughs> They're fucking rabbits. I know, bro, me too. It is a rather curious crew she hath chosen. <laughs> Their endearing forms intended to ease the passengers' hearts, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know if that's that's easing mine. Perhaps. I feel like we're in danger. Thancred is speechless. Speechless. <laughs> oh my god. Estinian would die? Oh my god, could you imagine if Estinian met one of these little dudes? Holy shit. Moogles all over. A hairy situation? The puns in this game are to die for. That creates a dumbfounded expression suggests he is still struggling to comprehend the spectacle he has just witnessed. They must be the Lollapreets mentioned in the Watcher's records. Oh, these are the Lollapreets! Have I pronounced that correctly? Lollapreet? <laughs> Not at all what I expected, but the Watcher did bid us heed their counsel. I assume the one who gave that rousing speech was the leader, though we might have to ask about an order to track them down. Come on then, let us be about it. Uh, <laughs> this is so steep. This is so steep. There are no steps. Can I just jump? Yeah. Ah! Okay. Okay. Where do, where do I go? Over here? Okay. Chipper? Chipper? Loppery. Lop Loppery? Is it lo Loppery? Loppery? Lopperets? Lopperets. 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 Lopperets, Lopperets, Lopperets. Lopperet, Lopperet. 
the chipiloperate. <laughs> oh my god, it's so small! <laughs> The leader of the crew is Singing Way. The leader of the crew, not me, I'm afraid. Singing Way is the name. I'm in charge. Wait, should we do a voice? Should I do a voice for these guys? I'm in charge of the construction and maintenance of the atmospheric circular circulation circulation system. Only the crispest, cleanest air for the people of Etheris, and that's a promise. Oh my god! Oh my god, look at It's such a fascinating apparatus. Though it's hard to believe it could house so many crew members. Even so, there's nothing else here to suggest other types of accommodation. <laughs> Is this great value, Laura Bailey? That was good. Thanks, guys! <laughs> Thank you. Did the Gengars multiply in your background? Yes, Warren, they did. Hi! You gave her Helga voice? Hello! It's me, Helga! <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, I... <laughs> this stream... Has been... Tossing me left and right. First Zodiac. Now this. At the whole spawn. With my friend. And we've had a very long, long... Long day at the horse park. I love, I love Helga. I fucking love Helga. In the woods. And I'm having a glass of wine. <laughs> for good measure, for good measure, can we watch Helga real quick? Just real quick. Where is she? Where's my girl? You know, everyone needs like a daily dose of Helga. You know what I mean? The bug bite. Where's her? Where's the video? Is it this one? Helga at the lake. Fuck, where's the audio? Shit, where's my audio? Here I am. With my friend. Is it quiet? It's quiet? Oh, can I make it louder? I got you. I got you guys. Don't worry. Ooh, there we go. Cranking it. I'm cranking Helga for y'all. Hi from Helga. Here I am. I'm at the lake. And I'm hanging with my friend. And I'm having a glass of wine. Because we had a long, long Long, long day and at the horse farm at the Any horse farm tomorrow barn. is a very very long day as well <laughs> at the horse barn at the horse we'll be in a show oh that will be funny anyway here we are the lake there's my friend there she is okay yes bye from, bye from helga <laughs> i saw this one today and it actually hurt me Hi, Helga here. I have had a very long day. I was bit by a bug on my forehead. Can you see Can it? Can you see it? Right Can there. you see it? It's like a big bump. A I big bump. I think it is not a new eye, but hopefully by tomorrow it will be better. So I went nowhere today. So just spent time with my animals and my dog. Me and with my this dog. pimple. <laughs> anyway, so I hope it's better tomorrow. Wish me luck. Bye now from Helga. Wish her luck, chat. Hi. Wish her luck. I fucking love Helga. I love Helga. I love her so much. I'm... <laughs> wish, wish me luck. <laughs> I'm now gonna end every single stream with... <laughs> Bye for now from Syra. <laughs> And before every dungeon, wish me luck. <laughs> We're about to have a very long, long, long stream at the horse barn. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get daily updates like that? Yes. Fuck, she's so good. Like, 
it's like it's funny but like in a sweet way right like she's just so on the moon she's just so it's she's so nice to watch i love her bye for now from helka <laughs> oh god <gasps> shout out thank you for three months reset i appreciate it welcome back to the country badger boats and your stay yeah, holds the fucking cons. I need every tweet to sign off on that. Bye for now from Syrah. Dozing lot. Don't worry, I didn't puke. It was just, it was just, it was a little nasty, but I'm okay, Chad. I'm okay. <laughs> I just like, it came out so weird. But that mashed potato soup come back up. No. <laughs> just, just like a, just a little bit in there. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the lop, loperets. The loperets. Lita, no. Oh wait, I forgot the voice. Sleeping way. My job is. Hmm. Mm. Pops, I'd better ask. Oh, he's sleepy. This one's me. I'm sleeping white. Oh my god, these guys are like the fucking Snow White dwarves. This is dopey, and this is sleepy. This is hilarious. Best ways, burrow. Oh my god, I've got to attune to the best ways. How how goes the system change? Oh, about as well as can be expected. Honestly, if it weren't for bad luck, we'd have no luck at all. <laughs> That's not really reassuring, little guy. All right, let me attune. Let me attune. We're, we're attuning? Chat? We're attuning? <laughs> all right, where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? <laughs> we're attuning. We're attuning. At the horse box. <laughs> oh God. Oh, yours and OK Mage's Loperate's voices are both good. Oh, she's ahead of me now, right? She's ahead of me, right? Fucking slay. God, I'm so slow. I think Frankie's like the furthest behind right now. <laughs> Wait, that aura was kind of hot. It is you, boom boom. It is you, boom boom. What? What? How in the? Snappy Loperets. When did you get here? Who let you in? Why wasn't I told? Take me to your. Take me to your leader. <laughs> Were you the one giving orders earlier? Hum hum hum. You know. I really want to say take me to your leader, but hum hum hum, like absolutely is like peppercore. Pepper would absolutely hum. You hum 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 hum. Hold on. Sorry, I clicked something funky on my screen. Hum hum hum. Wait. Hum hum hum. <clears throat> What was that supposed to be? Your humming, if one can even call it that, is atrociously off key. It should sound more like this. <laughs> fucking roasting me. What the fuck, this little bitch? I'll fucking step on you. As leader of the Luperets, I cannot allow substandard sub attempts at musicality to go unremarked, even if you are a guest. But being the mag magnanimous sort that I am, I'll forgive you this once. Alright, bitch, chill. God damn! Well, well, looks like you beat us here. Your friends, I take it. Is this all of them? <laughs> a 
group comprised entirely of chill. What does all the bitches fucking call me? What is all fucking? What do you fucking call me? A group comprised entirely of children. What must the parents be thinking? This isn't a nursery after all. Though perhaps we should build one. But to be built one already. <clears throat> no matter. You needn't worry your pretty little heads. All will be well. I promise. But goodness me. We shouldn't be standing about gawping. I must take you to meet the others. Alrighty. <laughs> If you can run along back toward the entrance, you'll find a path that leads to the central platform on the upper floor. You want me to fucking run back? There's no wrong way to reach it, but it's the large glowing ball in the centre. If you should find yourselves lost... I shall gather the others and meet you there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well then, back to the upper floor it is. How's my, uh, how's my Loparit's voice? Is, am I, am I doing okay? <laughs> Whoever this Ara is, they are fucking hot. Hello? I understand Ponto a little bit more now. <laughs> look at them. Look at the little, look at the little horns. So fucking cute. All right, can I just like, no. Going there is not going to do anything. The Hobby Tail is so cute. Wish Vieras had one. Oh my god, if you guys had like a little nub, that'd be cute. Why don't Vieras have tails? What's, is there lore there? Honestly, spot on. You could VA them. Yo, sign me up. If anyone needs me for like a parody, I got you. I fucking got you. <laughs> up this way oh my god what was such a long way to go because great enix doesn't want me to have fun true well i'm happy i have a tail okay i'm just looking at her pussy i'm okay i man there we go <laughs> fuck where do i do i just go around this way oh 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 they vanished can they just disappear like that? I don't know. I had canon that they have them, but it's impolite to show them in public. It's imp. Okay, I fuck with that L. I actually fuck with that. Why is it impolite though? Like, is it like a cultural thing? And to go catch up. How are you finding this absolutely uneventful with no shocking things? Stream, stream, Syra. Honestly, this stream has been pretty boring. Nothing eventful has happened. I've been running in circles. There's been no dramatic boss fights. No new characters. Like, honestly, Endwalker kind of sucks. I don't want to tell you. <gasps> Catboy? Wait, you were blowing kisses at me. Were you the one that laughed at me in the other place? Hello? You laughed at me, didn't you? Oh! <laughs> I'm so jumpy. I'm so jumpy. Looks at you in surprise. Why are you looking at me in surprise? <gasps> Hi, pads. Thank you. Thank you. Is this someone in chat? Chat, is this you? Small pup about to fall off. I know. If you could actually push me, I would literally fall. Benui tail could be the cultural equivalent of titty out. <laughs> titty out. Titty out. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Put the tails away. I don't want to see your, your butt breasts. The casual pepper upskirt? Yo, chill. Oh! It was nice knowing you, I guess. Do I have anything slutty? What is like Pepper's sluttiest outfit? Oh, look at this one I just fucking created. I don't want the eye patch though, so it'd be like this. Kinda sick. Okay, wait. I love my nun one! This though? I need to I need to finish it. I need to get different boots for it. Um, but this is like my um this is gonna be my um like red mage summoner uh summoner fit. Uh, let's see. This, this one is my current red mage fit though combat none exactly 
I guess like this is Pepper's sluttiest fit. Like she just got like she just got her ass out. Like, you know? Look at those little cheeks. Look at those little cheeks. God damn. I want to get like actual. No, I want to change the top for this. So when I finish the Doman Enclave, then I'll have the top that I want like for this look. And I think it'll be done. Well, I want different boots too, but I have to farm um a puppet's bunker for it. Oh, there is this one. I change the head every so often. It's either a pig. Right now, it's the it's the the dickhead. <laughs> but like my go-to glams, like the only ones I actually use are like this white one, like Pepper's like main fit that she's had for like since like Heaven's Word or like early Stormblood. Um, that purple one sometimes, but mostly the red one to match her husband. This one is fucking cute. <laughs> All right, let's see. Wobbling way, wobbling way. I'm shy I couldn't stay in front of you for that long. Oh, that was you? Wait, let me add you. Can I add you from here? A sudden friend request. I'm sorry I made you shy. Was it the pussy? Was the pussy too too juicy? I got the fairy tale princess for Simpa just gonna die in purple. Fuck yeah! You know it's very sad, but now whenever I see someone, anyone near a ledge, I have an urge to shove them off. I played Baldur's Gate three. Oh my god! True though. I love the pepper ear sticking out of the straw hat. Pepper ear sticking out of the straw hat. The straw hat. This one? That? Like the cat ears like that? The built-in cat ears? <laughs> this one is named Wobbling Way. That's so fucking funny. Oh dear, I hadn't expected to meet a people person here. What shall I ever do? I love anxiety. <gasps> Eat the current! Ether current! Give it to me! I want to be able to fly! Thank you. I appreciate it. Alright, we're just going around here, I presume? Do I go in? No, no, I go that way. Flopping way! Oh my god, the names of these little dudes are so funny. So fucking funny. Alright, hello, snappy Lopperit. Lopperits. Right, of course. Introductions are in order. <clears throat> okay, wait, let me just like work my way. Uh, right, of course. Okay, so it's like, it's up here. It's not really here, but it's all the way up here. Introductions are in order. Okay, I'll remember that. <laughs> I got to practice. My name is Livingway, and we are the Lopperits. Created for the express purpose of commanding this ship and bearing the people of Asterius to a brave new world. I love them so much. More specifically, I am the one whom she charged with the execution of her most vital plans. You might say I'm her right paw. <laughs> right paw. <laughs> Nubbing Way's the name. Map breather and navigator of the heavens. This is Mapping Way. Oh my god. I love them. Pleasure to meet you all. But I'm still trying to make sense of this. Confusion and bewilderment are completely understandable. Fear not. I shall walk you through it. The people of Etherius, through no fault of your own, I'm sure, set in motion a series of events that, unfortunately, culminated in Zodiac's obliteration. I love how cavalier they are. Acutely aware of the imminent crisis, your parents sent you little ones on ahead while they began the necessary preparations. You keep saying that. <laughs> yeah, like... Help me out here. Still what the following? fuck are you talking about, you little Wait. shite? Very well. I shall elaborate further. I shall elaborate further. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, Trish Planet. Here we have Atheris, your home, and the moon where we are now. 
Without right. Zodiac around to keep things lively, so to speak, the celestial currents of the star have doubtless begun to degrade. Right. A calamity of apocalyptic proportions will be visited upon Atheris, bringing an end to all life. There is that. To all life? <laughs> so too hath the Watcher claimed. By thine unperturbed countenance, I gather this eventuality was anticipated. The doom and gloom? Oh, yes. Quite expected. Hmm. Imagine, if you will, that Atheris is a delicious carrot that I've forgotten to eat and left out in the midday sun. Okay, I'm imagining it, yeah. The most earnest wishes or prayers will not stop it from rotting to the core. So sadly, there's nothing to be done but to abandon said carrot, Atheris, in case the metaphor is lost on you, to its grisly fate. <laughs> they really think I'm proper stupid! And this moon will serve as the vessel to deliver us to a new home. Uh, Elon Musk. Just so! We will gather up as many people, supplies, and resources as our stores will hold. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And then, once everyone is aboard, it's off to another star. But there won't Easier be Easier said than done, admittedly. For one does not simply hop from star to star on a whim. Which is precisely why we've spent countless years constructing the most propulsive of propulsion systems. We ought to make it to our destination in two shakes of a rabbit's tail. <laughs> Impressive technology. I dare say it is beyond anything we have ever seen. No need to shower us with praise. All we've done is faithfully carry out the instructions left to us by Hydaelyn. Back in Wait. the old days, when she was still just Venar, she was dedicated to the study of the world and its inner workings. And the Watcher, the real one, not the simulacrum you met, was one of her fellow researchers. We and this wondrous vessel, masquerading as a moon, are products of their knowledge and know-how. <laughs> There's certainly more to you all than meets the eye. <laughs> Might I ask where exactly you intend to take us? We identified so a few promising candidates for resettlement some time ago, but we cannot guarantee that they are fit for habitation. Habitation. Moreover, the ship can only travel in short bursts. We intend to go down our list, hopping from star to star, until we find one suitable for resettlement. It's giving alien, honestly. No need to worry, though. The vessel is being refurbished with accommodation for an extended stay as we speak. While we did have to rely upon outside help to determine what amenities were essential, I dare say we have risen to the challenge. Help? From who? <laughs> From you and yours! Who else? Each time we woke to perform regularly scheduled maintenance, we were greeted by the resources you sent us. What better way to learn about preferences and proclivities of our present day charges? Ah. Oh. But you're still adorable little children. Perhaps your elders were responsible for the deliveries. This I'm not sure what led you to conclude twin. otherwise, but I can assure you that we are all grown men and women. And I very much doubt my elders know this place exists, much less how to send you so much as a starlight missive. were okay. a great deal taller. In the present day, persons of such prodigious size are exceedingly rare. I feel attacked. So, 
You're saying everyone's not like the Watcher. No, people on Aetherius are oh, not that big. Found it all. Someone could have at least scribbled a note about your profound miniaturization. You want to talk about being tiny, Pipsqueak? That tome in thy possession. <laughs> oh, this? One of the first books sent to us. A compendium of the people of Aetherius, with a few blank pages at the back for minor corrections and updates as needed. so dusty um <clears throat> and i remember when i showed my friend oh shit i found the i found the code for master matoyas oh oh the other one had a code for master matoyas <gasps> naming way i don't know <laughs> is, na is naming way one of these guys yo i got a code <laughs> Because I, I, one of the art books I have, I think, has a code for uh, Master Matoya's hat. I think it's my Heaven's Word book. But no, so like I, I, I bought this, and I remember, I, I was telling, I was telling my friend that this, this encyclopedia is so gorgeous because it literally looks like I took it out of a library from like, from Eorzea, you know, like. The font is so small. The pages are so like, you know, textured and, and tattered. Like, look at that. This is like, you can barely fucking read it without a magnifying glass. It's so, like, look, this is what they're reading. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> Oh my god! Canonically, the Loperates have been buying books off of the skirt and excite to learn about us. No, seriously! Oh, that's so fucking cute. That's so funny. Oh my god. I, I looked at that and I'm like, wait, I know that book. I've seen that book. I have that book. <laughs> that's so funny. Funny. I didn't think you could move that fast. <laughs> I, hey, look, look, I'm, I'm quick sometimes, okay? Sometimes the adrenaline gets me, all right? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> the sum total of our knowledge of your kind is contained in these pages. That's so funny! I thought it was abridged and made small for our benefit, but... This isn't a regular sized book, is it? <laughs> Bro, this bitch is so cunty. <laughs> Girl, relax, you're gonna throw up. Building way, can you hear me? Yes, we're all very busy. Change of plans. I need you to rebuild the domiciles at one third the scale. <gasps> all of them. Yes, all of them. And but me no buts. See to it with all speed. <laughs> she said these bits are short. Perhaps you could tell us a bit more about your terrestrial collaborations. Yes, yes, in 
due time. But first, I'd like to hear more about you, if it's all the same. I'd rather not risk any other complications due to outdated knowledge of our passengers-to-be. Hey, what do you want to know? I'm a pussycat. Meow. <laughs> oh my god, I... <laughs> this is so cute. I love them. I, I love these guys so much. I would kill for them. I would absolutely kill for these little dudes. Saigoskin? Sa the the Syra code offending? Oh, hey, I recognize this. Isn't there like a like a lower level version of this? Ooh, yo, this is sick. This is so. This is this is Coven Core. This is dope with the purple underneath. Yo, Sai for real. This is me. That's fucking cool. I like that. I like that. I like it a lot, yeah? Oh my god. Or Chiffon, you are almost the size of these little bitches! Hey, purple. Purple carrot juice. She gonna give me purple carrot juice. With the final days fast approaching, Living Way is keen to complete her preparations. Oh. This is so funny. This is so... This is so funny. I love these little dudes. What, I scared you? Why did I scare you? Because I ran, I got up and ran? I just got excited. I can't remember if they were in Record Keeper. What, I don't, what's Record Keeper? Amarantian size beds. Hey, look, I may be small, but I would love an Amarantian size bed. That way I can roll around and roll and roll and roll and roll. Mobile FF game? Ew. It was sadly shut down. What, ran you through the series? Like from one to another? Yeah, putting the sheets on would not be fun, but that's why I would uh, force, um, uh, you know, another uh, character to do it for me. <laughs> All right, okay. Damn. Red Dentist and Larry to take each one corner. Yeah, and who's taking the fourth one? Not me, bitch. <laughs> hey, what's <watch> it? <laughs> I need help. Me, duh. Thank you, Kelsey. Your help is greatly appreciated, babes. All right, ready? I call closest corner. Closest corner to what? Right then, now that you're here, we need you to teach us all you can about your people, and quickly. It won't be long before the final days are upon us. If they fucking say the final days are upon us one more time. The final days are upon us. In all their terrible grandeur, so it is imperative that we be prepared to receive our passengers to be. If there's anything, anything at all, that may displease them, it must be addressed post-haste. And address it we shall. Here at Best Ways Borough, we have assembled everything required to offer our guests the best way forward. <clears throat> we have produced myriad amenities we understand to be essential for day-to-day -day living, and I wish to hear your opinions on them. I'm sure you've all worked up an appetite, so why don't we start with foodstuffs? Meet me at the, the Caritorium, and we'll see about filling your bellies in the Caritorium. I'm gonna cry. She does not want for enthusiasm. The notion of a theorist rotting to its core being a matter of course is rather concerning though. Nevertheless, let's take this opportunity to learn more of the Luperitz and this vessel. Da -da -da -da. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, we're going all the way here. Oh, uh, do I jump down for this? Uh, well, fuck it, I'm jumping down. Oh my god. Uh, is this a door I can go through? Looks like it is. 
Uh, speak with living way? Is that y'all this way? Is the Caratorium- Ah, oh, the Caratorium is this way! Oh my god. Relationship with moderators over, housekeepers begin. Teddy, what's up? I'm done with mount grinding, head pets incoming. Yay! Give me the head pets. I want the pets, babe. Give me them. Oh my god. Eorzea said gay pride. They said LGBTQIA, uh, what is it? Two, two S plus rights. This is so pretty. This is so fucking pretty. This is so fucking pretty. This is so cool. Are these like little like ter terrarium things? Or what, are they? what am I fucking looking at? Uh, you're telling me I could attack the supporter? Oh my god, it's like a mecha bunny. Oh my god. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is so cool! Oh my god, they have stripper poles. Slay. Wait, can I just like, can I jump up here? I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. Oh. What? What am I looking at? These look like Legos. Are, are those carrots? Are they growing carrots? These are so cool. Do you do Eden, Syra? Yeah. I did, I did. I did the Eden raids a very long time ago. The Eden raids are actually on my uh, VOD channel right now. Ooh, what are the ether currents up there? Attack one? No! No, I could never! I don't want to! Uh, fuck it. Are they gonna be mad? Are they gonna one shot me? Oh no. Oh no, I just fucking feel bad. I killed it for nothing. I'm just so sorry. Oh, the music was kinda hype though. <laughs> the music was pretty hype. Eden was true gay rights? It was! It was! The Eden raids? So. Lesbian pride. Lesbian fucking pride. Welcome to the Keratorium! Here we create prototypes of various sundries required by our soon-to-be passengers. Allow me to introduce the Head of Food Surf Production. Cooking Way, pleasure to meet you all. Our work has involved no small amount of trial and error, but after many, many cycles of painstaking labor, I dare say we have created the finest cuisine our guests could ask for. I have learned all about the essential nutrients for a healthy and balanced diet from the re from the reference materials we received. Why, I've practically worn the words from the from those invaluable pages. Naturally, we also consider these ease of growth and production. We will not want for ingredients. I must insist you try some. We have fresh stock pr recently prepared on account of well, because we just woke up, and we're all quite famished. Hop along the platforms here and you'll find a storage unit full to bursting with delectable delights. Help yourself to anything you like. Thank you. I appreciate that. So y'all y'all just want me to Oh. Am I gonna go up this one then? Am I gonna up this one? I think I'm gonna up this one. <laughs> you are really a brilliant voice actress, thank you. Now someone hire me. <laughs> uh oh, I'm not going up this one. Am I going up the big one? Whee! Oh god, too big for pepper. <laughs> Way too big for pepper. Blasting way! Yay, we've got blasting way here. Oh my god, look at the they got blue carrots. This doesn't require debate. We have work to do, so quit dragging your feet and get to it. God damn blasting way. You open the sword unit and find a rainbow colored assortment of carrots. Uh, which carrot will you choose? The unassuming orange carrot, the peculiar looking blue carrot, the vibrant yellow carrot, the ominous crimson carrot. Well, I did say red's my favorite color. The soft texture and, and redolent, redolent aroma of this crimson creation. Belly? Belly? It's staggering weight. The excessive length and girth. <laughs> Only compound the mystery, leaving you perplexed as to the nature of this carrot.
Look. <laughs> Red is my favorite color. You know... <laughs> the travel is gonna be quite long and, and tiresome and probably lonely and boring. I'm sure Pepper could steal a few red carrots to use in her spare time, especially if there's a lot of excessive length and girth. You know? <laughs> I'm just saying. There's nothing wrong with a, with a lengthy, girthy carrot. But I have to second Teddy's question. Why? Is carrot in quotations? You telling me this isn't a carrot? <laughs> Are you certain you wish to eat this carrot? <laughs> yes. Come on, Pepper, eat that girthy carrot. On second thought, you elect to simply take an obscenely large carrot for now. <laughs> Due to its bizarre qualities, it'd be prudent to ask cooking away whether it is safe to eat first. <laughs> Hey, look, there's nothing wrong with a big red carrot. Okay? Right, chat? Hashtag just carrot things. <laughs> if someone gave you a giant blue carrot, would you not question its carrotness? No. It could just be food coloring. Who am I to question the carrot? Oh my god, excuse me. Pepper's like to threaten me with a good time. Get your ass back here. I have important gifts for you. Oh, he's so sorry. I got distracted by the big girthy carrot. I'm coming. <gasps> Hello. I'm so sorry for running away, babes. Hi. Hello. Give me my headpads. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Wait. Oh. Here, let me give you some, some peppermint. Nope. You get two. <gasps> and I get the purple carrot juice. And, oh, big carrots. Oh, a lot of carrots. Carrot nibbles. Uh, you're a Viera. Are you sure you don't... Oh, I'm the 69 gill. Fuck yeah. You, sh you sure you don't want those carrots? Hold on, real quick. Real quick. I have something super important to do. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm too short, but I got the nipples. I got the nipples, babe, and that's what matters. Do not bully my shortness. Tall Benui lady in an elegant dress. We love it. We love it. I love Vera Mommy, especially when she lets me inhale the booba. <gasps> I have to make that an alert. Just. Did any of our, of our selections set your mouth to watering? Yeah, the girthy one. Oh god, obscenely large carrot. Like, they're, like, I should not just have a big carrot in my bag. Ah, oh, yes, a fine choice. One of my... One of my personal favorites, actually. Please dig in. I'll make it to you what you think. Mm. Alright, let's put that big boy in our mouth. With great trepida trepidation, you take a bite out of the carrot. The carrot is oddly tender, but as you begin to chew, a rich aroma fills your nostrils. A newfound vigor begins welling within you. The rumbling of your stomach, however, suggests it may simply be indigestion. <laughs> did I just get a, a debuff? What did I... What just happened? What did you think? Unlike anything you've ever tasted, yes? The iron cat can be a bit difficult to digest, but the boost to endurance... But the boost to endurance... It promises makes it the perfect meal before a day of heavy lifting. We have plenty of other varieties too. Bleeding carrots to improve blood flow. Dream carrots to help us sleep. So you see, we have a carrot for every occasion. <clears throat> These carrots are extraordinary. What if I don't like carrots? I can certainly see demand for this in Charlian. Oh my god, number three. Oh, 
Charlian, what in the blazes is that? I take it you two had a wide assortment of carrots to choose from and not else. Yeah. Do you not like carrots, Ishtola? They're rabbits, what do you expect? If I may ask, what exactly do these collaborators share with you about cuisine on, on Etherus? Surely you are aware we have an abundance of dishes and foods you could emulate? Of course we are! But, well, it was only quite recently that we established contact. Even holding a conversation was a struggle at first, so imagine our surprise when they sent a mountain of books and documents with no clear instructions. The sheer amount of information was overwhelming. If it wasn't for the encyclopedia I found, we would have been at a loss where to begin. And so we decided, rather than divide our resources to prepare a variety of middling and potentially unsatisfying meals, it would be more efficient to devote our efforts to the production of a single perfect food. That's all well and good, but man cannot live on raw carrots alone. Have you considered cooking them? You mean steaming, boiling, roasting and the like? I suppose we could prepare the carrots in other ways. But a primary concern was efficiency, and what's more efficient than sinking your teeth into a carrot fresh from production? A rather strange approach to take one from for one A rather strange approach to take for for one named Cooking Way, isn't it? Well, technically speaking, Cooking Way isn't my given name. When first created, we were all named in the old tongue. You know, that otherwise in impenetrable pa parlance the watcher speaks. The wee wah wee wah. After we received a great tome of words, a dictionary that is, from our collaborators, we learned your language. Adverbs, gerunds, present continuous verb conjugations, just the basics. Then we found the terms related to our given task and used them to form new names. Aren't they helpful? No, not really, but it does explain a great deal. Wherefore didst thy kind deem such a, such, such a change necessary? When the rest of your people arrive, you want to be certain they understand immediately what each of us does. You'd never be able to pronounce our original name. You'd never be able to pronounce our original names anyway. I see. I hope our critiques, such as they are, were helpful to you. Though if you should decide to preserve flora and fauna from a theorist as well, you'd be able to offer the passengers a more balanced diet. Until such a day, one I pray comes sooner than later, it would appear there is not but carrots on the menu. <laughs> I mean, I'll take my purple carrot juice, I guess. Yo, Bow Mage, Ellis Food Talk has me wanting some fish tacos, and what is stopping you from fulfilling this dream of yours? Have they considered boiling them, mashing them, and sticking them in a stew? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fucking piss. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Living Way is eager to show you more of the moon's wonders. Stoiled a hero. I think we've had our fill of carrots for now. Let's move on to other necessities, shall we? Our clothing production is sure to impress. This way! Alright. Shake it, they give the prime sub. Print me for the girls. For the girls? Hey, yo, thank you. I appreciate it. This girly loves her subbies. <laughs> Welcome to the Code of Dramatimus Inner Stay. Is it okay if I post the blue carrot use description? Yeah. I didn't eat it, so you may as well. Chat, how are we feeling? Are we good to stream a little bit more, or do y'all... I think uh, we should uh, take a little break. Cause you girl, honestly, I'm getting a little tired. I'm getting a wee bit tired, babes. I'm not gonna lie. Kelsey's good, Booth is good. Yeah, I know it's up to me, but like, I wanna keep going. Like, I really wanna keep going. What Firebird, hello? You are taken by surprise when blue juices burst forth from the carrot and dribble down your chin. Hey, yo. As you take your second bite, you can feel your mental faculties sharpening. Your mind opens to the universe for a brief moment. And for a brief moment, the mysteries of existence are simple, transformative truths. But the revelation is fleeting. When you at last finish the carrot, a sweet yet sour aftertaste lingers on your tongue, the number 42 in your mind. The number 42? All right, seems like seems like everyone is, is down to keep going. All right, we'll go a little bit longer then. 
Here we are, the apparel production station. We've chosen to employ more traditional methods for this task, creation ma this house, creation magics. Heidelin, in her infinite wisdom, blessed us with the self-same affinity for magic her people possessed. We have other amazing talents, of course, and I know you're dying to hear about them, but I will regale you with the details another time. <clears throat> oh, I gotta go higher. My voice... My voice is a little low. I, got, I, gotta, I gotta pitch it up a bit. Hold on, I got this. That said, we did run into a spot of trouble at first. Our magic alone was not sufficient to see our work done. In the end, we dissolved, we discovered crystallized ether was a wonderful catalyst that could provide us with the extra this we needed. Me, this, this. My, how resourceful. Ah, the sweet sound of recognition. Hey, yo. Me too. Me too, living way. Recognition. Praise. Give me it. You will also be impressed to hear we've read all about your habit of changing attire to match a chosen profession. For the sake of efficiency, I presume? This has all been taken into account with our designs. But why take my word for it when you can simply try on our clothes? Make yourselves known to the workers and they will see to the rest. I'm nervous. They're gonna make me look stinky? Am I gonna get a cute fit? Am I gonna get bunny ears? <laughs> I didn't know Sire did voices, Pog. Hello, Captain Loneliness. I mean, I do. I, I try my best. They're not perfect, but I could do a voice or two. That is thank you for the head pats. Mango, thank you for the head pats. I am a good girl. Take it, take it, take it. <laughs> right, let's see. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Am I going the right way? I am. Restless Loperitz. Is this, is this how you're going to make my clothes? These are just cubes. Ah, it's you. One of the visitors from Atheris. Goodness me, Mapping Way wasn't kidding. You really are smaller than the Watcher. Oh, right. You had to try on a set of clothes, yes? What would you have me fashion for you today? An outfit that embodies my bloodlust. Something simple, yet functional. A fashionable, yet and refined ensemble. Okay, what do we what do we go for? What's the vibe? My bloodlust? I kind of want to go with one. Pepper doesn't really have bloodlust. But, like, I, I want I want to see... Uh, yeah, bloodlust. I really want to see like what they're gonna whip up. Okay, well, chat, you're giving me a tie here. Kelsey said one or three, and now we're getting one and three. Come on. Oh, my ears are not pinning to my hair properly. Next time I I hop on, I'm gonna have to do this properly. We'll go with bloodlust. <laughs> What is your... what? Oh. Alright, man. <clears throat> this will only take a moment. <laughs> they don't fucking know what bloodlust is. They just box me. to hate on anyone's fashion sense but I do look like a sack of potatoes I do look like a fucking sack of potatoes there we are all finished a perfect fit if I do say so myself you think this is a perfect fit I'd be lying if I said I understand what blood loss is but I assume it's something you enjoy I made certain to the clothes are flexible yet sturdy enough to endure. Whatever it is you plan to do while wearing them. Thank you. I look great. I look like what someone would wear to win a potato sack contest. Like a, like those race, you know? You know? Oh my god, I look like a sack of, a sack of carrots. I do look like a sack of carrots. Damn. Pain. Would you look at that? Speechless. And there I thought you may not like it. You're right, I love it. If you're mind to try something else, why not speak with my fellow artisans? I'm sure they'd be happy to oblige. You must continue You must continue wearing these garments in order to progress. Yo! 
They want me to look ugly. They want me to wear this shameful outfit. Oh my God. Man. Man. You will change back to your normal garments if you move too far away. Look at your map for the garment changes area effect. Oh shit, speak with the restless loperets to restore or prolong the garment change. I think I just accidentally skipped the dialogue bit. Oh my fucking god. Speak with the jubilant loperet while wearing your new attire. Mm, okay. Hey guys! I'm coming! The sack of potato- Oh, my shoes! My pants! Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. Yeah, your 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 carrot is coming. Your carrot is coming. I'm a I'm a sack of peppers. I'm a sack of peppers. Ah! No one said you'd be coming! Uh how can I help you? You wish to try my clothes? Really? Of course, it would be my honor. Do you have anything in mind? Got anything with a little more flair? I'm looking for clothes with an altogether different design. Surprise me. Uh, a little more flair. I think I can handle that. Let's see. This should do. Oh, God. oh boy. Oh lord. Okay, let's see. Let's see what they got. Let's see what we're getting here. They had me in the first half. You know. They had me in the first half. I fucked with it for just a moment. And then, and then the leopard print came in. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Some of my best work yet. Times and days truly have changed. It used to be so rare for anyone to request clothing with a focus on form over function. Thankfully, I had a spare concept for robes made using a different fabric. I think it looks rather fetching. I want to die. I was worried that the concept would turn out when put to the proof, but it looks stunning on you. Won't you come and show living way? I'm sure she's eager to see what we've come up with. Oh my god. You know what though? I gotta say, the little guys are doing their best and honestly, I can't be mad. They're really trying here, you know what I mean? They're giving it their all and I have nothing but respect and a little bit of disappointment. Like, the mask, the cheetah print, or the leopard print? Like, honey, no, no. They just aren't English, you think they know anything about fashion? Well, I wouldn't mind a little turban outfit like theirs. They look cute. My, don't we look splendid? The result of much trial and error, but I know quality work when I see it. Shh, you didn't speak. I can see adoration for the moon, for the moon and we lopperous in your eyes. No doubt your friends feel the same having sampled our creations. Oh, I need to see what Thancred looks like. I need to see what these guys are wearing. Mm. You know what? At least Thancred and I match. All right. Sorry to have keep, kept you waiting. They insisted we all sample... Oh, sorry. <clears throat> they insisted we sample all of their concepts ere we returned. Verily, it is an ensemble most becoming. Ooh! Rion has filled himself! He got the fancy lime green gloves! Okay, Rion He said, ooh! Just 
amazing. Fucking amazing. Actually speechless. Actually speechless. I think it's past time we return these clothes. <laughs> oh, she seems so offended. She's like, what? <laughs> I was so confident our garments would meet your approval. Whatever are we doing wrong? The watcher taught us that in his time, everyone wore the same robes. Ah. To do otherwise was against social etiquette. Okay. Now it makes more sense. Okay. That checks. You see all these big guys wearing robes. They're wearing masks. They got these hoods on. Okay. I, okay, I, okay. I see, I see the misconnection here. <laughs> but did you see what we wore when we walked in, bestie? thought we could appeal to modern taste by tailing the robes to specific professions, but... Uh, you know what? Valiant effort. Please, you mustn't be so hard on yourself. Should we resort to evacuating the people of Atheris, they will most certainly have need of your attire. It is clear you spared no effort in addressing our needs, but you must understand that we are not quite so... homogeneous. Hom hom homogeneous? Homogeneous. Speaking for myself, what I wear now better suits my taste, even if it is <laughs> of inferior make. But there are others whose choices may be influenced by, tradi by traditions or personal experience. Rather than make assumptions for the whole, you must consider the individual and their potential preferences. Oh. Woke. Do I spend 50 on CS2? No, you spend it on me. You gift the community subs. Heckle. Is it like for a loot box? Like a CS loot box? Mm. So you're gambling? Nah. I fear we've underestimated the complexity and diversity of your people. <sighs> Even if we'd memorized every tone we received, I doubt we'd have fared much better. <coughs> Sorry, had a cough. Maybe we're doing it you as a service, trying to shower you with our bubbles and frippery, thinking you was for your benefit when you'd be better off on your own. No. Oh. There are some who might agree, people who prefer to keep others at arm's length, even when they know they shouldn't. As one such former fool, I'd like to ask you a question. This plan to evacuate and escape the final days, did it account for the reflections of the source as well? <gasps> dad cred, dad cred, dad cred, dad cred, oh baby girl Reen! Oh no. Um, not that I'm aware of. <sighs> we, were bo we were born of Hydaelyn's love for Theris and the salvation of the people on that star, and that star alone has ever been our aim. Surely it's better to devote ourselves to saving one more than to divide our efforts across 14 and risking fail them all. I suppose you're right. Oh, that hurt. Living way, might we have leave to explore best ways burrow unattended? You have given us much to think about. Why, certainly. Until later, then. My heart literally just fucking, like... Crumbled. If I may, I should like to accompany thee a while longer. Really? I mean, you're more than welcome to. There's actually something I wish to speak with you about. Let's be off then, shall we? <laughs> huh? Have fun, Orianger. Now, what the fuck do I do? Oh. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Why are you staring at me? They're making funny looks at me. Quote from Kate, localization lead. These location names are what the Lollaparits ca came up with. They were confused, but they had the spirit. I love that. The Keratorium, Best Ways Burrow, Greatest Ensvale, Sinus Tormenti. Wait, no, this is not that. It's only this. Right? No, it's this. It's these two. Greatest and Ensvale. 
These three. Because this is the moon. This is all the moon. This was like sinus. That's. Actually, I don't know about this one. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, they did their best. Moon sail? Hopper's hold? Hopper's hold? Slay. <laughs> Dentist, thank you for the $50 donation! Thank you! Now that is a man. Thank you for the $50 donation. Red, good luck with your CS bundle. Godspeed. Ah, my apologies. I wasn't trying to spy or anything. Everyone's been talking about the visitors come from Ethereus, and I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. I was excited at first, but now, now I'm worried. What if the people of Ethereus refuse to come? What if we can't save them? Oh, it's clear we made a mess of things. Oh, but wait! You're slow to visit the domiciles. Domiciles? Domiciles? Once you see them, you'll understand how wonderful the moon truly is. I'm sure of it. I'll be waiting for you by the teleporter near the entrance. Oh, and the name's Growing Way, by the way. See you soon. Alright. Alright, chat. I think this is where we're gonna call it. It's almost midnight, and I am really sleepy. <sighs> or should I go talk to the bunny and, and then call it? I'm so tired. Like, my eyelashes are so heavy. Oh, I gotta... I gotta sneeze, too. <laughs> Eat your seeps. Okay, l let's let's wrap this up. Let's wrap this up and then, and then we'll see... And then we'll see. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the blessings. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. You're here! You're really here! Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, sorry. What should I call you? Peppermint, eh? Crikey, even your names are amazing. Crikey! Well, Pepper, we'll be using the teleporter to enter the residential area. Whenever you're ready. Residential area? There's a residential area? Ready in the teleporter. Oh, I was doing the wrong voice for you. Readying the teleporter. <laughs> Fires don't. <laughs> All right, well, we're getting a voice cutscene, so maybe this was not a good idea. Huh? Access to living quarters restricted due to reconstruction. Then where is it? Hey, oh, hey, no. hey, 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 hey! Oh. Oh, it just booted me up here. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> A private audience, as thou didst request, for reasons I know not. Precaution. I'd rather I didn't have to ask the question at all, but I take my responsibilities very, very seriously. Do you and your friends by any chance find our accommodation wanting? Be honest, brutally even. It would be ungracious of me to belittle the efforts of thee and thine. sentiment really but the disappointment is writ plain on your comrades faces it's all the more frustrating since no one will come out and say what they find wanting if there are faults in our work we need to know we can we will do better but it's like but time human nature you know it's our nature to be the final days will wait for no one. Gentle. If your people are to be saved, we must take quick and decisive action. But they're right. This vessel must serve as a home for as many passengers as possible for far longer than we may like. Mm. Which brings me to my request. Our collaboration.
operators on Atheris are doing what they can to prepare for the voyage. Would you be willing to go and lend them a hand? They're collaborators. Having seen the moon for yourself, you could speak to its many splendors, learn what else they might require, and assuage whatever concerns they have. Wherefore wouldst thou entrust me with such a task? How to put it? You're the only one who appears not to be wholly unsatisfied with our work. Oh, quite good at pretending that's the case, at least. Calm, collected, tactful to a fault. Very particular with your words, too. You understand that... In the face of great danger, one cannot pursue perfection at the expense of practicality. The difficult choices must often be made for the greater good. <sighs> and so fate doth conspire to set my feet upon this path once more. <laughs> Ah, idle musings. Tis no trifle, thou dost ask. Yet full well do I understand the urgency and necessity. I... Oh, dear me! Dear me! I was terribly sorry for the mix-up! <laughs> it's a bit of you a You ruined my eavesdropping! Your quarters were inaccessible, you see. But you're still in one piece. So, all's well that ends well, yes? Uh, won't happen again. I promise. <laughs> oh, they're already gone. God, yeah, I remember the plot twist in A Realm Reborn. Something, something's cooking. Something's cooking under there. Theorists is like working with them. Gosh, that was promising. I promise to be more careful from now on. Since the residential quarters are closed for now, I've rerouted the teleporter to allow travel between floors instead. Hope it proves useful in the meantime. <sighs> A shame you couldn't see it though. You really would have liked it. I'm sure I would have. All right, okay. This is where we'll end it. All right, cool. All's veil vale that ends veil. Vale. Oh my god. The next, the next mission is just Helga. All's veil vale that ends veil. Vale. All's veil vale that ends veil. Vale. Hi, my name is Helga. Everything just comes back to Helga. Damn, that was a good stream. That was a fucking good stream chat. I had a lot of fun. This game had so many surprises today. With Fandaniel and Zodiac, that trial, the puppy, the bunnies. Like, there's just so much. But in the end, it was all Helga. <laughs> it was Helga all along. Oh, that was a lot of fun, Chad. Holy shit. Endwalker is so fucking good. Just got here, but the accent, oof, amazing. Bitch, one. <laughs> that one. Or oh, the bunny one. My Loperet's accent. The Loperet's accent's pretty good, too, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, God. All right, y'all. That's it for me. I will, I'll be returning to FF14 on Monday, presumably, if not Monday, next Friday, um, cause that's, that's how this works. Tomorrow I'm gonna be at the Overwatch League, uh, Grand Finals in downtown Toronto, so if you're gonna be there, maybe I'll see you, maybe not, who knows. Um, but yeah, y'all, I'm gonna send you to Sarah, she is playing FF14, I'm assuming she's just gonna 
do some rage or something. She's all caught up with the MSQ, so there's gonna be no MSQ content there. Um, but yeah, it's Mimi's time indeed. Thank you everyone for hanging out with me. I will see you all next week. Don't forget to join the Discord server and follow me on social media that we stay updated with all of my shenanigans. But yeah, bye for now. <laughs> bye for now from Syra. Yeah. Long, long, long stream. <laughs>